you know what? Let's go ahead and wander over. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, my interface is visible. Whoopsie dipsy. So embarrassing. Not gonna let this happen. Anyway, today we're gonna do some Krabby because he's good. I want to do some Krabby. Please, yeah, by all means, do throw things. That was a big ass banana. That's a banana I could not deep throat. And if you could deep. You know what? I'm not gonna finish that sentence. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. I'm just not. I'm not going to. Cucumber makes sense too. Anyway, before we get started and do Krabby though, I do have a couple videos that I thought we could enjoy together. And I'm gonna stretch the definition of the term enjoy. Just like these videos stretch the definition of the term, uh, what's it called? Food. Silverwind? I don't know that I want to discuss my gag reflex live on the air. Anyway, I have seen the first two seconds of this video and I was terrified, so we're going to watch the rest of it together. Anyway, for those of you who have never seen Chef Club before, they usually do very unethical things to food, so let's experience their crimes together. You're watching Chef Club. Unfortunately, yes, we are. So we're starting by plugging bread with, with aluminum foil. It's a very normal thing to do. I just happened to be watching this like right before we started, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait and we'll watch it with everybody. See what's happening here, because Chef Club seems to be legitimate. They seem to be legitimate because sometimes they make good food that's good. But sometimes strange things happen. Also, what I really like is that this, this is described as childhood snack. Not the fact that, like, there's anything about it that, like... Like, is specific more than that. It's just childhood snack! Didn't you always have a childhood snack like this when you were a child? These beats are too loud. We don't need beats this loud. I think Chef Club is a psyop whose primary purpose is to undo all of the years of getting people to believe that the French can cook. Chef Club does so much damage to the reputation of the French. What is happening here? Hello, Harley. I think that's true of a lot of people here. Again, whose childhood included this this soup of chocolates? Like I'm Is it Neclair? Because it's not Neclair, it's like a hot dog roll on the inside though. The French are truly Is that a piece of wood? Is that a piece of wood or is that another piece of bread? What is that? What are they doing to that? Why did they dunk? Is that a baguette or is it a piece of wood? It's a piece of wood wrapped in aluminum foil dunked in ice water. Okay, sure. Also, hell yeah, new model. Check it out. I'm d oh, cool. It's, it spawned friends. There's a whole squadron of them together. All that work was just to make a chocolate cup? Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, the shaping of the chocolate on a rolling pin isn't too insane, but again, this is a lot of work. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I figured, so since food has kind of become my thing, I was like, let's watch some food videos that are bad before we get started. See, these are cute. These are, thank you, Reno. These are kind of cute and charming in their own way. It was just, I didn't understand what was happening with the bread before. Silverwind, you are onto something. Cho the chocolate cups with some Baileys would be delicious. What? Okay, but like, why was, why were the loaves of bread stabbed with aluminum? What was the purpose of the aluminum? 
Was it was it just to make like a like an op like like an opening for the chocolate to go in? I guess. This one doesn't seem that bad. They've made such worse. Let's look real quick. Mix oh. condensed milk with boiling water, and everyone will be surprised by the result. What the fuck? Hold on. Do we want to see what this really one is? Easy to make. This isn't it's what I planned on watching, but do we want to see what happens when you mix milk with boiling water? Because it looks like you're gonna make a mess. Fifty milliliters of water, and a box of condensed milk. Let's put out the fire and mix very well, remembering that the water needs to be boiling. This is starting to look a little unethical. That's for sure. After mixing, we will transfer. It's not to been so bad so far. I'm just very confused as to where this is going. This is not a video I planned on playing, but now I'm. Let's add a teaspoon of oil. It does look a little. Oh, the oil is not going to make the texture any more ethical. We are going to hit TOS oh, just of off of this. And we will mix again until the egg dissolves completely. How long is this? Oh, we don't get to find out apparently. Oh yeah, this is now total clickbait. Also, you can tell it's total clickbait because the voice is like. Flour. I add half of the flour, mix well, and then. The voice is a the robot voice. They didn't even bother to get somebody to do a voiceover. Also, yeah, Reno, I think this is just a custard. That's the opposite of a surprise. It's just like, hey, do you want everyone will be surprised that you're making a custard? A very liquid mass. A very liquid mass. Now oh, you do not do this? The frying pan with just a little bit of oil. Okay, this I did not expect. I did not expect the return of the frying pan. And after greasing the frying pan, we will add our dough with the help of a ladle. Oh, so just we're just making fucked up horrible until pancakes? Until it the bottom of the skillet, but don't put too much dough so it doesn't get too thick. Then just let I it think that liquid mass would be a good name for a screamo band. And when it starts to come off, that looks bottom, that looks really gross. It and let it cook on the other it side. It looks like burned cheese. Then just repeat the process until the dough runs out. <laughs> that, is now, that a crepe? The stuffing. I used is that a crepe? That felt like a really complicated crepe. Well. Remembering that you can use the stuffing. Like, do these people know they're allowed to do more than what? Yeah, the stuffing. What, what I like how they didn't even bother to explain what this is. They're just it's stuffing, okay? It's stuffing. I also sprinkled some powder. You did not do any of these things, robot lady. I bet they stole this footage. This is confusing. And now just roll our sweet pancake. Super delicious and soft. Super delicious and soft. And look what a show our pancakes turned out to be. They did not. They look very I mysterious. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank I did you not. Thank you so much for following us here. A big kiss, and until our A big kiss? Jesus, lady. <laughs> yeah, these are just shitty, strange crepes. Oh, so one of the other ones I wanted to show you guys. This one was sent to me um, by my lovely sibling, who is also a foodie, loves good food, loves bad food. So we're going to play a little game with this video. This woman is going to prepare a dip. And I want everyone to guess what is going to come for each layer of the dip. Because you're going to guess wrong every fucking time, because I sure fucking did. All right, let's make my go-to dip to take to gatherings. I don't get to control the volume. First, get yourself a cute little partner. The, the, the baby yeah. is not an ingredient, I'm sorry. Then smear a softened block of cream cheese on the bottom of a tray. Okay, first off, I want to talk about the fact that she's having such a hard time smearing that her hand just like whipped out to the right. Did you see that she's like a softened block of cream cheese? Yoink! Now, what ingredient do you think comes next? What ingredient do you think comes after the cream cheese? Go ahead and guess. Then you're going to add a layer of Miracle Whip. Because you guessed wrong. <laughs> because you guessed wrong. <laughs> this is every, listen, this is going to be left and right turns the whole fucking way. <laughs> pugs do have breathing issues. Babies, babies and pugs do breathe a lot similar. Then a sprinkle of sugar. Did you guess sugar would be next? I sure fucking did, and I've seen this video city video before. Oh, Tanya, yeah, don't don't know that you want to watch this one. By the way, this is from the channel Happy Healthy Haley. So Haley is here, but this is neither happy nor healthy. Anyway, what ingredient do you think is coming after sugar? Then a bottle of cocktail sauce. Because it's cocktail sauce. <laughs> Must I like reading to be like mustard? I was wrong. <laughs> Isn't it 
is what? Okay. Okay, first off, I really want to enjoy the fact that I managed to pause it perfectly because it started to pour a little bit, and then right as she reaches for the camera, it just slurp. Just slurp. Just so much. <laughs> Isn't it good? Um, cream cheese and cocktail sauce is, it's, I kind of understand cream cheese and cocktail sauce, but remember, this also is Miracle Whip. Hold on, let's see what comes next. Then some mozzarella cheese. It's the world's worst pizza. <laughs> also, this is like, this is like the last thing you've seen after you've lived, laughed, loved too hard. It's just Karen's hands coming th for your throat like this. Then <laughs> some garlic salt. Okay, sure, that's that's at least fairly reasonable. What do you think comes after the garlic salt? I believe... Hi, Miku-san. Well, you see, you see, um, the sugar is to, um... I don't know why the sugar is there. Honestly, I feel like the presence of the cocktail sauce, all you're gonna taste is horseradish. Because it tastes so strong. Reno, that's a good guess. I like that guess. And then you're gonna add mini shrimp on top. Because the correct answer is mini shrimp. Don't worry, don't worry, it really comes together at the end, see? And you're done. Serve it with your favorite crackers. You know who my favorite cracker is? Not the one in this video. <laughs> what? So did she put this in the oven? It's actually very hard to tell. Did she put this in the oven or did she just serve that raw? I can't tell what would be worse. I really cannot tell what would be worse. Silverwind, I agree. We should burn it. We should burn it. Anyway, those are two completely random videos. I thought, you know what? Let's watch a couple of those because I like it when we do that. I like upsetting videos so much. And if there's one organization that I would love to actively disrespect at every opportunity, it's Chef Club. Don't worry. It's gone. For anybody who ran away, it's gone. It's gone. That adventure out of the way. Do you guys want to spend time with someone much more palatable? Someone who knows how to eat good food even in an apocalypse? Mr. Krabby. Anyway. Reno, you don't think that dip would be the worst thing ever. What worst food have you had? Kirby would refuse to go. He has, he would take damage from that dip. Yeah, tripping, that, that's what's thing is, the shrimp and cocktail sauce makes sense. Such a... It's just mystifying. Isn't it really mystifying? I feel like the Sir Sterling, when I pronounced that wrong, has a more consistent bouquet of flavors than whatever we just watched happened. Let's see. Anyway, we are doing Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and we have made it to the third area, which is the theme park, and it's adorable. I have some upgrades. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into some of these side areas, so I can get, um... Oh, that's a difficulty score. I'm gonna go into some of these side areas so I can get rare materials, so that way I can make the upgraded hats. I feel like Corona beer is... I understand beer is an ingredient. In a casserole setting, though, that's interesting. I'm fascinated at the idea of beer in a casserole. It seems stupendously American. But, I mean, casseroles in general, anytime I see a casserole, I'm like, that's... That's the U.S. added again. Tasted like chicken and expired everything else. Wonderful. Oh, there's a wall! Hello, wall. I think casseroles are... Wow! How could you do this to me, sir? I don't think casseroles are bad. I think casseroles can be done well. But usually they're mysterious. Oh yes, hot dish. I forgot the term hot dish. 
Did somebody decide the casserole was too hard to pronounce and we just had to go with the most generic term possible, hot dish? There we go. I'm gonna do a couple more of those and then we'll head back and we'll get some more upgrades. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the idea of like, hey, let's throw some, let's throw some pantry staples together. It's just such a hilariously American concept. Truly a relic of an age where you're fucking excited about canning. Kevin, I agree. I've noticed that every good casserole is drowned in cheese. Oh, I see there's a hole right here. I gotta hold down the button so it stays put. Bam! We got it. Wasn't there like a commercial for a TV, like a, like one of those infomercial products for dump dinners? You got, I want to hear Reno's stellar go to. Cream of, listen, cream of mushroom is an excellent, excellent thing. Oh, I can't believe I got that on the first shot. Cream of mushroom is like a great way to add some umami yumminess with just something that's commonly available in the States. Does anybody ever buy like cream of mushroom to like actually use it as like a soup? Because I've only ever seen people purchase it to dump it in a casserole dish. Oh, there's another treasure over here too. Assistant. Yeah, you only ever buy it for casseroles. I'm gonna have to make casseroles on my show sometime. I should make like the most aggressively American casseroles possible. Monkey punish. You pick your own mushrooms? That rules. I like how that went slow-mo. Tater tot hot dish is so aggressively American. I love the I love the the, the alliteration on tater tot hot dish. Like it flows so nicely. A dish should be fun to say as much as it should be to eat. Bunny, no. Goodbye, Bunny. Ooh, I like Reno. I have to read Reno's recipe when I'm done with this time section because I like the fact that you... Ow, fuck you. Do we have to fight in this gooey area? I love the fact that they gave him durian bombs, too. Tater tots are excellent. Ooh, uh-oh. I need to stop fucking around. Part of the fun of castles is you dump something in there and you feel like you're cheating. You feel like you've defeated the culinary gods. Whoops. That was embarrassing. It's okay, I'll try from the top and get a better score. I'll do less miserable. Actually, the hammer charges up a lot faster than I thought it did. I'm swinging the wrong way! There we go. Goodbye, sir. What's the name of the, those little creatures there that are, like, adorable and then they're not when they get angry? We haven't seen any of them get angry on this run, but we will. Yep, 
culinary rules are completely arbitrary. We've just decided this. It's amazing. Has, does anybody ever watch um, Tasting History or other similar channels? I love those because the palettes that people had from ancient times are so incredibly, incredibly different to what people like now. I gotta stop jumping into him. I'm taking so much damage just from running into the man. Continues to do exactly that. Okay, now I'm not... Okay, now I'm gonna be proud enough to eat the food. Caveman. Yeah, I need to charge up. Here's the thing. I need to be planning my moves. There we go. Whoa, that knocked off a ton of HP with that swing, too. Goodbye. We're done. We're out of here. I didn't notice that it's just that much. That's the only way to do that sanely. And you stop being a fool. Uh, so I'm scrolling back up a second because I want to read what Reno's um, recipe was. One box of macaroni and cheese per instructions. Add one can of tuna. Oh, this is this is so American casserole. Do the mac and cheese, can of tuna, uh, can of cream of mushroom or chicken soup, the frozen peas, top with breadcrumbs. That's a casserole. Now that's a fucking casserole. I love it. I, yeah, you get hit with lots of ads on Twitch. Twitch throws a ridiculous number of commercials our way. It really does. We don't deserve this. Baking, it is amazing how easy it is to get baking wrong. You can screw up just a little bit about the, um... the baking powder or whatever, and you are doomed. Also, so this is the way this works. You can roll longer every time you touch, you get some of your your time that you're allowed to be in this form back. Fuck a room. There has been a miscalculation. Na 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 You cannot add more or less baking powder. You just cannot. If the, When somebody tells you to add this much baking powder, it's because they've fucked around with it. Speaking of um, culinary rules, somebody pointed this out the other day. Vegetables are a social construct. Lots of upgrades. But yeah, there's no such thing as a vegetable. Fruit has a science definition. Vegetables, vegetables are anything. Some vegetables are leaves, some vegetables are roots, some are stalks. There is nothing that makes vegetables consistently vegetables other than we just decided that's what a vegetable is. You have so many blueprints to give me! He's so excited. He loves us.
Oh, we're getting big sword. We need big sword. So if we get time crash, does that mean that we can actually stop time? Um, it is exactly what it sounds like. If you press that button, Gloop is sent to the Ska Sandwich Dimension. Okay, we got lots of upgrades to do. Let's see. First off, I want to see Toy Hammer because that sounds adorable. We deserve Toy Hammer. Hey, we did it! We did it! Oh, actually, I have to get rid of that label. That's funny, I gotta get rid of that. I did a TikTok, so I put that text on there and I forgot to take it off. Yay! Deal a little mayonnaise off that one. Hey! Leave me alone. I had to die to deal with. I gotta mop up my hands. Anyway, let's see. Let's get rid of you. They're fixed. All fixed. Uh, Saudi toast. Is that actually the definition? Of any edible plant that any edible plant or part of a plant that isn't a fruit of a seed. Yeah, that could be anything. That could be anything. It is without meaning. What's a vegetable? Ah! And that's why it's a social construct. Anyway, let's actually make that hammer. Lactose-free cheese isn't isn't cheese by definition. Then what? What is it? Hi, Tyler. Hello, Tyler. I'm sorry, Toy Hammer is <gasps> It's so cute! This is silly and good. I was about to say, it better squeak, it does. It's funny how this makes a very subtle squeak, but then the one, the one that you guys keep hitting me with... It's not a very subtle squeak, it's a big powerful squeak. All right, let's see. What else could we buff while we're in here? Oh, that was a big old beach ball. Um, let's see. We can buff... How are we gonna buff sword? Always good to have bigger sword, powerfuler sword. Beastly sword. Kirby only knows one word, but everyone around him knows what he means. Also, is there a sock hanging off the back of that Waddle Dee's head? Did you guys see that? Oh my god, he looks like he's from fucking Monster Hunter. Yeah? Yes, Kev? What's up? Yes, I did sleep in Kirby's house. Look at this fucking monster-ass sword. Really? You have to be kidding me. I've never used the great sword too much in Monsty Hunty. I should. Uh, what? Cutter is the one that lets you do that thing where he leaps off the top of the screen. The movie has in Smash Brothers for his grab, right? I want to be able to. Is that one in this? It should be. Also, since the low battery night notice just popped up, where is. Oh, it's right on the couch. I'm gonna wiggle for one second because I want to grab the charger before this controller dies in my hand because it just yelled at me, yay! <laughs> Thank God that was sitting there. Thank God that was sitting there. We're charged, baby! Filled with electrons and juices. What'd you bonk me with? It's funny, we slept in here, but I don't remember exactly what the sleeping cutscene was. Oh, I'm- I'm been hit with so many anvils, I'm becoming more and more strong against them. I like how the thing, the beast, the creature, Curls up. 
Yeah, I blocked it frame perfectly. In two-player Bandana D snuggles with Kirby? That's so cute. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that they removed tactical kissing your bros, but you can cuddle in bed together? Okay. You know what? That's true. If you don't kiss, it's not gay. Let's see. Um. Oh, that's right. It's time for the parade. I'm very excited to see what they've done with the parade or what awaits us here. Um, I have a question. Is it gay if you um, stare lovingly into their eyes? What about sharing a milkshake? No, that's okay? Okay, good. Let me guess, I'm gonna take a few more steps and suddenly the power is gonna turn on and everything is gonna turn cool as hell. Thank you! The Ender Dragon, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, bro moments that are bro moments of cuteness? Um, I should play Psychonauts at some point. I have yet to. Also, I guess it's still dark. Is this going to power everything up? Is this a button that activates the energy? Is it... What if you're naked and you share a milkshake? That's what I thought. I like how the things in the distance have a lower frame rate. It makes them look like claymation. What's up, guys? Why are these guys not even attacking me? They're okay, you're attacking. Thank you, jeez. But the dogs just ignored me. I think... Ouch. I think Claymation would have been wonderful for this. Oh, hold on. There's another button over there. We're hitting that. Wait, can I go down here? No, I cannot. I wonder if we'll ever get the stylus one ported to everything else because because it's on the Wii U, it's kind of hard to like bring that to something else because it's that stylus. It is siesta time. Sometimes, listen. The thing about siestas is they're never scheduled. That's absolutely not true. Siestas are inherently scheduled. Oh, do we have to find the mom again? That was so cute. I love how it's had us do that a few times. Look at the baby. Chad, when was the last time you hung out with a baby duck? Because you deserve to. Rainbow Curse actually has four player? They just walk on the rope? That's cool! I absolutely love, yeah, I absolutely love the fact that Spain was like, you know what? In the middle of day, everybody take a fucking break. And have a snack. And then we won't have dinner until 10 o'clock. Alright, where's the- there's another baby ducky. <gasps> no, 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 no! Phew, we made it. You stay away from those ducks, you horrible bunny. Don't touch me, sleeping man. Don't touch me. Oh, they get... They get scared if they get near an enemy? That's cute. Honey, I'm here. Honey, I'm here.
Yeah, I've been to Spain, and, like, when we were in Spain, and, like, it got to the middle of the day, I was like, Oh, I get it. I don't want to do fucking anything, ever. It's so hot. It's absolutely siesta time. Oh, there's Mama. Let's see, we have four. Does Mama need one more, or are there five? There is one more! Okay, we gotta find the fifth. Ah. Is it over here? Yep! Hello, my little angel. My beautiful son. Here, look! Wait, why is it baby bottles? Kirby, why are you drinking their food, my guy? How could you do this to them? Ducks are babies. All ducks are babies. Even grown-up ducks are babies. I have to ask my mom, but there's pictures of, like, when I was, like, a little, little, little kid. I was, like, a baby myself, and we're eating a peanut butter jelly by a pond. And a mom duck brought all her little babies up to hang out with us. And we ended up feeding them pretty much the whole sandwich because... When a duck comes up and asks for your PB&J with all the baby ducklings, you say, Okay, sure, here you go. Yes, when I was little, I was a baby. Listen, some people, listen. Have you ever met, like, a baby and you're like, This baby is old. Some babies, you look at them and you're like, This is, a, this is an old man, but small. That was not me. I think I want Tornado. I think I want you to not hit me. Yeah, I want Tornado for this part. I will be more careful in the future, I promise. That being said, um... This was like 1991, so I think whatever fate that was gonna befall those ducks is... Long over. <laughs> Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. I hate that. Why does he have to do this? Okay, there's no other secrets or any goodies back here. They are very demonic, aren't they? Robots faces too. Hello, secret. Ooh, what are those? Are those are those games that we're playing? Are we are we is that like an actual thing or are you referring to like combining chemicals that you found in the house? Oh, is this another race? Sick. Is that- oh. Is this how we make it to the end in time? That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> that felt a little cheap! Hey, do you want to retry crossing that gap? You can do it! So speaking of speedruns, I saw people talking on Twitter. Apparently you can beat Elden Ring through like glitches in like a few minutes now with like some crazy speedrun hacks that they've discovered. Curious what those are. I'm curious too about what 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 lies over this way. Oh, this is the worst race course ever! I thought it was like nine minutes or seven minutes or something crazy super duper 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 quick. Uh, 
Alright, why is Kirby not flying anymore? He just like decided, like, no, nah, I think I'm gonna go down. Peace out, Reno. I have not played any of the Souls games yet, and I kind of got him. I kind of want to, it's just, it's so funny whenever, like, a new Souls game comes out, it's so much hype around it that I'm not, like, thinking about it, you know? They're few and far between, right? Like, the last time we got a, um, a Soulsborn, it was Bloodborne, right? Well, good on you for trying. I, it's funny, it depends on the experience you want out of a game, because I understand why people love challenges, and there's some challenges that I, oh boy, that was a fool who should me. Some challenges that I love, and some that I just don't. Also, wait, duh, hold on, I'm a fool. This is how you avoid the cars. Duh. I also think what kind of games I like to play depends on where I'm gonna play them. Because like when I do games with you guys, it's hard to do really tough games on stream for me because I want to talk the whole time too. And talking and doing something really tough is hard. Metroid Dread is- I still haven't beaten Metroid Dread, it was tough. Slurp. I got stuck at the um, Metroid Dread. I've been picked up since I got stuck at the um, the big guy in the lava reactor. Oh, you can push the. Oh, I see. This is fun. Don't hit me. What's Fray and Bow? I've never heard of that one. Whenever I've seen, like, I don't know that they're crazy hard. I feel like there's a lot of, like, flex around it. Oh, I see there's something to break over there. <gasps> Waddle Doddle. I'm coming, my son. Oh, the, oh, a bridge form. Never mind. I didn't even have to spit the water out. Peace out, Emberia. I shall have fun. I hope you have fun too on wherever your journeys take you. I don't know that I do gore. It's so funny. I like the, the play style of horror games, but I usually don't like the theme of horror games, which is sort of a funny thing to say. But it's why I'm very excited about um, My Friendly Neighborhood, because that game is horror in mechanics and horror in the jump scares, but it's never gross. Yeah, I've seen the dodge roll. Whenever I've seen, I've never actually again, like I said, I've never actually played a Souls roll. But whenever I see people like like do a dodge roll, it's like the dodge roll in this game where it's like takes for look at the dodge roll in this game actually. It's a big ass dodge roll. Which, by the way, if you nobody's seen this before, you have iframes during the entire animation, so you can just dodge roll through things. Monster Hunter is a critter simulator, so it's a place to meet fun guys. Oh, but goodies do we get for this button? Oh, 
a waddle! How long until sunbreak? Sunbreak is soon, right? Like, I cannot wait for sunbreak. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna ditch my power and take yours. Because your position so... So in the way. It's funny, I haven't played... I'm trying to remember if I played with Charge Blade or Switch Axe. I think it was Switch Axe that I played with. Hello, me beautiful sons. I usually, when I do Monster Hunter, I did exclusively Insect Glaive for like ever. I was exclusively Insect Glaive. And then pretty late in Rise's life, I got into the Hunting Horn. Hunting Horn is so good. I love Hunting Horn. Um, it's also tremendously good if you're like playing with people and you've made like plans. So what? I love that they bother to call out that he's green-hatted. Oh, it's in June? Okay, good. Honestly, it's so funny, like, when the year started, I knew that I wanted to get my new model done, and I was like, I have to get my new model done before Sunbreak comes out, and I have to get my new model done before um, Splatoon 3 comes out. So now that I've done that, we're Gucci. I'm all stacking up. I like that the Waddledees have subtle color differences in this one, too. Wait, you need only 21? That's... Boy, you would have to be pretty miserable to, um... You know what? I'm not gonna bully it, because lots of people play these games. I'm not gonna be like, wow, you suck if you have less than 21 Waddledees. You don't suck. You're having a good time. Splat 3 was confirmed summer. I like this tune. I'm gonna get this as one of my background songs that plays. I need to commission music one of these days, too. Lots of YouTubers have commissioned music. Oh my god, it was so funny. So there's um, a bigger VTuber, um, Akami. Akami? Akami. She's very cool. She's a sneaky. Um, but she's doing this like Pokemon card series where she like does people's art and does like moves for them. And she pinged me and she was like, hey, do you want to be, you want to make a Pokemon card for you too with moves and stuff? And I was like, hell yeah, I would love one. And she's like, okay, cool. Um, ping me some art that's been done of you and um, the artist so, so I can credit them. And I was like, honey, <laughs> I'm not big enough for people to randomly do art of me. I mean, it's happened a couple times, but it's not like some VTubers where they have like big stacks. But big stream people are on another level. Oh, this, this... I like how there's the big claw on the logo, too. Tomato? Sure. I really need to beat Luigi's Mansion 3 very badly. Let's see, do we want Gunner or... I'm gonna take Gunner. I remember really liking Gunner. And I have buffed Gunner too. Our Switch price is still pretty high. Yeah, I never went back to it and I forget why. I feel like if I did it again, I would want to like just start from the very top. Cause I don't know that we made it that far into it either. That's, ooh, that's pretty high. Hello, cool hat. Claraline, that's good. Oh, you're right, she is thick. Wait, we both got, we both got these. We both got getters.
She does have Pokemon vibes. Okay. <laughs> She comes at you pretty fucking quick. I mean, obviously that was a dramatically charged up attack, too, so... Ooh! Oh, right, I can also dodge! I gotta remember I have the dodge, too. Which I probably need to get out a little quicker than that. Haha! <laughs> I did it! The dodge is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I'm really playing Monster Hunter with this gun behavior. Oh, phase two. She has done big meow meow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you get those, ma'am? You know what, I'm just gonna let you do that for a second. Should've jumped. Ooh, she's done big mysterious move on us. Oh, is there a lot of fan art of her? I believe it. I have done very, very good about avoiding lots and lots of spoilers to this game. Oh no! Get back! Curb, you're facing the wrong way, sweet. You gotta. Goodbye. <laughs> All those dramatic angles, too. Mm. Ooh, upgrade. What do we get? Oh, I'm sure that took two seconds, yeah. Oh, we got upgraded to drill, sick. What's up, boys? Here to save ya. It also, now that I've fought a couple bosses, the pattern makes more sense. Almost all of the bosses have been beasts because we had a gorilla and we had the kitty and um, we had the tree. The tree is not going out, but it's like, you gotta have wispy wood. You gotta. It's a Krabby game. Oh, do you automatically duck back into town after every uh, big boss? Whoa, there's a fucking... This has turned into a fucking ecosystem of Waddle Dees. A biome of boys. I love that they translated gotcha as gotcha. I've heard so many people call them gotchas in, as in GOTC. Like, just, just that name as like... Not knowing it's Japanese, they're just like, Ha ha, gotcha, it's designed to take your money. Oh! Really? Really? Yeah, exactly, Sadi. Really? Okay, but like... Hold on. Wait, hold on, I'm dying.
before we go and talk to anybody else. <gasps> Wait, there's a there's a little That's so cute! Yeah, isn't that- Hi, sweet bun! Hello, hello, hello. This game is adorable. Also, very conveniently, that took us up here, which is closer to where we want to be. Hello, nerdy Waddle Dee! Welcome to the Coliseum's reception area! He's yelling. You can enter tournaments here and battle rush your former bosses. You make it all the way to the top and come out on top, you'll earn a special reward! And that's not all. We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first term in his training. All the way from Planet Popstar. Stuck in this new world like us. That's right. It's Meta Knight. So, are you going to enter the tournament too? Absolutely. We've got to fight Meta Knight. Okay. You're officially entered in Meta Knight Cup. It's about to get intense from here. I can't wait. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, um, buy some more food to bring. Cuz... I'll just go tomato. This really isn't all that expensive. Um, what is Omega Labyrinth? Not sure what this Omega Labyrinth is. I feel like I've heard it mentioned before, but I forget. I mean, I think it's the fact that we're doing combat here, but... Oh, they give you a... Thank God. Oh, they're doing one of these. This really is like Smash Brothers, where they give you a room to come back to to get stuff. That's very nice of them. The last two sentences are not what I expected out of that sentence. <laughs> Tyler, this is my first time hearing it, and you've set a high watermark. Okay, good. That timer at the top is ticking, um... Ticking up, not ticking down. We can take this man down. Don't smack me. I'm the boy. Okay, fully charged. Hurts like crazy. Okay, you're too, um, he's way out of range. That being said, though, you can the fact that you can dodge roll with a charge is nice! Don't you dare. God, the roll is so worth it. Gorilla Grode, who is this Grode we speak of? Goodbye. I didn't notice the first time he has his nose pierced. And a goatee. They give you Crash? You can walk into a boss with Crash? That's fun. That's very surprising that they let you just walk into a boss with Crash. Hey, ma'am! I fancy seeing you here! This feels like a familiar experience. If you liked her, if you liked her the first time around, you get to see her again.
Kirby is not really the game that you'd think would have a satisfying dodge roll, but it's nice. It really is. What the? Oh, you can get sword? Okay, you know what? Sure, we'll play with sword. Why not? I didn't realize you could you could get powers off of those. Did you just shoot a ninja poof? Oh, can you not do- Oh, you can't dodge roll with the sword because you block like this. Okay, I actually want my dodge roll back. But you can block her knives, which is cool. Okay, actually, the really, really, really good block may be worth it. Hey, thank you for the little- <gasps> Those are so cute! Who's little adorable? Those are adorable little, little red panda parties. Those are good. Um, let's see. I'm gonna take... Mm, I'll take Needle, why not? Especially because it's the upgraded Needle. The Junk Needle, which is so good. So charming. Fancy tree boy. Whoops. It's kind of just easy to just go over the poofs. Oh, he has forced me. Oh! Kirby's offense has made his opponent desperate. That's interesting. Is it really buffing their defense if I'm doing a good job? I mean, even if his defense is buffed, look at his life bar just get absolutely discombobulated. We are completely flabbergasted. I just realized this is the second. This game is two for two on bosses with goatees. I'm sorry, Mr. Pineapple. Um, I may take Gunner on this one, actually. How many tomatoes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I guess with how we're going, I might as well top off. are deadly. Put your shield down. Oh boy, there goes half your life bar. You look like about to murder this man off screen. Sizzle too, like it, like you can grab them, but he just has to sit there baking for a minute otherwise. <laughs> Holy crap! That was violent. Goodbye. Not even a discussion. 
I, that was disrespectful of me. We're keeping the gun. Stay strapped or get clapped. Hi, Form. How are you doing? Round little guy is having a good time. Don't you dare. We are learning that gun is almost unfairly good. I think that the decision to give Kirby a gun is kind of unintentionally hilarious. Also, I shot that man off screen without even trying to. Murderated! I could have beaten that man with my breath held. Oh, thank you. What's this? What was that? What was that? All right, Meta Knight, let's go, boy. I think the listen. The Kirby anime already had Texas accents inexplicably. <gasps> oh, we're doing one of these, huh? You know what? I'm gonna stay with what I got. <clears throat> Didn't he have a Spanish accent in the anime too? The Lone Swordsman. This guy might actually give us some trouble. Well, I, here's the thing. You will know because in the American dub, they gave a Texas accent to King DDD. So if he didn't sound like a cowboy, then you probably have a different dub, yeah. I don't think you'd have to explain it. Meta Knight's gay for Kirby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That's worrying. Oh, that I did not expect! Okay, Sephiroth. I don't know why I called him that. That was a complete miss. He only has feelings for swords. That tracks! Gun is actually hard because gun takes time to charge if you want to use it effectively. And he is quick. Oh, and he dodges himself! <laughs> the Gilded Demon! Thank you so much for the follow. I'm glad that you're gilded. Welcome to the Guild of Gilded. Whoa! I agree with that unit usage. Goodbye. Done for. Demolishified. Is it mask gonna break? <gasps> yes! That's the best part when you get to see that he's just a little guy.
Kirby's done it. Kirby's achieved his lust of destruction never ending. That's what we love about him. 500 monies. Crystallized Gusher. In a last, in a last-ish effort, Meta Knight looks directly into the camera and says, It's just my birthday! You wouldn't hit a little guy on your birthday! I'm the little birthday boy! And it works every time. I didn't even look what blueprint that was. I was so I was so excited to talk about the birthday boy. I don't want to talk about Elphalyn. I don't know. Oh. Kirby's little friend. That's a piling. You have so many new blueprints to give me. Ooh, we can upgrade. So Holy shit, you can get Meta Knight Sword? That's cool as hell. Pencil Drill sounds interesting. That being said, I really, really, really want to see. We can't get it yet. It's expensive and it needs three chicken nuggets. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's a good night, Pi? Oh, well, good night. Have a nice night. I appreciate you swinging through. Isn't it, like, super duper late your time? Like, it's six... Like, the sun is just setting in California here, which tells me that it is late skis for you. Hi, bros. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Fiesta. That is late. Iceland. You're good? Well, that's good. I'm excellent. I was very sleepy, and then I had a sandwich. Which doesn't make sense, but... Tracks. In Kirby 64, wasn't... Sons and daughters of the same which come to me. <laughs> Devoured. But yeah, in Kirby 64, wasn't the winter area the post apocalyptic area? I'm almost 100% sure it was. Everybody's sleepy. Everybody's having a sleepy day. I think, you know what? I think it's important to normalize being sleepy. I think it's important to normalize being a tired little guy. You know who has normalized being a tired little guy and done a good job of it? Dads. Dads love to be, like, just resting their eyes. Dads love to cross their arms. Can I cross my arms? Dads love to cross their arms like this and sit down on the couch like this for just a second and be like, I was just resting my eyes. Like this. They do this. Yeah, sleep at work! Get a job sleeping. Oh my god, the best is, the best is when it's the dad and the cat on the couch. Especially, 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 if the dad was like, we're not getting a cat. Don't bring a fucking cat into my house. I don't want any more pets. I'm going to end up taking care of that shitty thing and wiping its shitty litter box. And then dad loves the cat. It happens. These are things that occur. Perhaps it's happening in your house. Actually, now I'm curious. For those of you who have pets... Was the pet your idea and you had to talk other people into it, or did they get the pet? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There's a penguin over there in a hat. There's also a ranger to explode rate. I'm sorry. Are you... Can I get ice power from you? Do I want to get ice power from you? Your dad didn't want another dog, and you got another dog? Yep, that sounds about right. We destroy four snow animal sculptures. I'll keep my eyes peeled. That sounds about right. It's always the person who didn't want the pet who ends up falling in love with the pet. 
we, our family has had multiple foster failures because we have participated in programs with the animal shelter where like we would temporarily house the pet and we were never going to per permanently house the pet. And then guess what? We permanently house the pet. I wonder if Snowball's a power. Actually, hold on. I need to eat you, Penguin. Oh, it's just ice again. That being said, if I have ice, can I do extra ice things in this area? Or is it just my usual ice powers? Oh, well. Bean! Bean is also a, uh, a little foster failure. Oh, no! Squashed! You snuck a pregnant kitty in your house, and your grandma let let you keep one kitten. That's adorable. We've I'm trying to remember if we don't we have almost kept a bunch of kittens where our mama cat gave birth. I think that every time we've almost done it, we ended up not keeping them, but they did go to somebody in like our immediate lives instead of back to the shelter. Oh, if you blow if you blow ice on it, it just gets bigger. That makes sense. I like how this ranger dog is being all tactical too. Do you see him like ducking for cover? So funny. I'm sorry, I love that. That's very charming. Ooh, good. Don't guard the vending machine. I need this. Kirby needs this. What hurt me? Did a box fall on me? Wasn't even aware that could happen. I like how as he lost his tactical cover, he just sat there like, well, oh, I thought these guys worked like booze, where if they see you, they, where if you see them, they stop moving, but I guess not. I can get that. I can! I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I've done it. Give me treasures, give me goodies. Is there anything to do with the gotchas other than enjoy them? Are they just for gazing upon lo lovingly? Hey, Squidward's house is having children. You boys need to stop that up there. We've done it. We rescued him. I still love the fact that he stays in mouthful mode for these cutscenes. He doesn't spit it out to say hi to his friends. He remains committed to the bit. Herbie's just dedicated like that. He's just built different. These okay. These are these. I was like, are these rotating or are these just leaning back and forth? They're just leaning back and forth. I wonder actually. Will bombs roll on this hill? I bet they will. It's time to perform bomb science. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. This game is very, very good about doing a lot with its basic concepts. Good game design right there. Hello. Hey there, little feller. Stop throwing shit at me. There's secrets over here? Nope.
There's secrets down here, though, that's for sure. Or is there not? Perhaps I've lied. Perhaps I've told a fib. Oh, we need Gunner. That's what we need. That's what's up with Rin Tin Tin here. Has any other Kirby game had Ranger, or is this the first one with it? I feel like it is. Also, this is much easier when Ranger's been powered up. Fucking Commodore-ass hat. Kirby looks like he owns a boat. Like an old timey boat. Hey Kev, if you're still here, did you ever finish Oberdin? Both my friend Kev and my friend Fire Mountain Tanya were playing a game called The Return of Oberdin, and I should not have been shot like that. You were. I. I felt like a fool. I truly have made a miserable ups. But anyway, Oberdin, it's good. It's a mystery. One man scary. I'm such a fool, I'm like, okay, I'll just go straight. No, they're they're going all over the place now. That was my mistake. Hmm. Hello, Reno. Oh woe is true. Sometimes when you do an oh woe unironically, you don't realize it until chat points it out. Owoed first. I wonder who made the first Uwu and Owo and if they knew what they were doing for our, our, our combined lexicon. Because they changed the course of human conversation. I'm stairs. That hurts? That's silly. The world may, in fact, never know. I still think we as a society, um... We're rewarded that- Thank you! The W was meant to be read as bangs between the eyes? That's a really good one. That one's a fascinating way to do it. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I want you because I want your bomb. Because that wall is suspiciously cracked. Doesn't that wall look breakable? Like, I mean, I know everything around here kind of looks like it's beat to shit, but that wall looks very breakable. Oh, they, oh, I'm so, oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, how do I break the metal up here? Now I'm suspicious. Cause there's metal breakable blocks here and no way to break them. I also heard a uh, Waddle Dee complaining down there. 
So before I actually leave, let me see if we can figure out where he is. There's the complaining ladder over by this wall. Perhaps no, that's not how you get that open. Anyway, what I was gonna say is yeet. It's so funny that yeet showed up as a word and we know exactly what vine it originally came from. When that girl chucked that soda can, she changed the course of our lexicon eternally. Bless her. Can I go down? I can go down. And more of you have spawned. Thank you for spawning. Yoink is good. Yoink, I'm, it's funny that we had yoink for so long before we had yeet. I knew it. The secret cave of meat. Oh, we have to bring the stairs. I don't, I don't think yeet was forest. I think yeet is a very useful term. Like, yeet has meaning. Yeet is when you throw something with wild, reckless abandon. Speed over accuracy. Exactly, Kobe for accuracy, yeet for distance. Stop being penguins, a crime unforgivable. Which old guy? There's been many old guys. They keep making more old guys. I don't know if you know this. Every year there's more old guys. A worrying situation if ever there was one. Wait, what old guy yeeted? The old man has yoked? Is Ray Sype the guy who says like strange things and it's like they can pay him to say anything? I don't remember the old man eating. The yeet I'm thinking of is the one where she throws the soda can in school and she's like, this bitch empty, yeet! That one's the only one that I can think of. Shotzo! You don't get to learn about shots, so. <clears throat> I've definitely seen Ray Sype. I'm almost 100% sure I've seen Ray Sype. It really looks like he's screaming, like he's not doing so good. A Kirby miserable. I wish I can close my Firefox tab. Because... I'm gonna click on there real quick. Let's see if we know the audio here. Yeet. Oh, where he throws the board at the guy! This I do remember, yes. I do remember this. Oh, you transition cleanly between the areas. That's cool. Wait, does it stay? Oh, no, it only stays nighttime over there. Frozen subway. Yeah, then I don't think that invented Yeet because I feel like... I feel like Yeet didn't start there because otherwise the vine wouldn't have been funny. Like, I had to start elsewhere. A bag it again with the Krispy Kreme was a cultural reset. Hold on, I've never eaten the snowy man, the sleepy man, and I want to. Oh my god, he saunders around for us. Look at him, look at him. Oh no, he can't make it! He's out like a light. Back at the beginning of Krispy Kreme. Because it came so early in the lifespan of Vine, Dean just shut my monitor off. 
So Bean just like, she's behind the monitor and she just reached her paw up and underneath the monitor and hit the power button and shut it off and withdrew her paw. And now I'm looking at a turned off screen. Do you not want to hear about the back of your Krispy Kreme guy? I really wish that had been captured on camera. But yeah, because he started fucking shit up, that decided that a lot of like vine violence is going to be the tone. Oh, I'm glad that I have this power then because if I remember correctly. Can't I move? Nope, never mind. Remembered wrong. Too cold. Violence, exactly. Seal. Big scary seal. There's a kiss from a rose for you. Oh, I see we've put water enemies in here too. Cool, cute, adorable. There was that whole era where people were, where it was do it for the vine too. Like we we decided that vine is the place for vineless. Did you know somebody asked him there, like, Seal, what, what was up with the lyrics to that song? What does kiss from... What does kiss from a rose mean? What do the lyrics... Did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can't be seen? What the fuck does it mean? And he's like, I don't... I, I've gone two decades of that experience and I never will. <laughs> Peculiar Rabbit! What the fuck is that? Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you and your friend knows what were you playing? Tell me what game you were playing. Also, as you arrive here, do you remember the Kiss from the Rose song? Because I want to know what the fuck you think that damn song was about because I sure have no fucking idea. Anyway, what's up y'all? I'm Gloop. I don't know if I have a theme as a VTuber. I do variety streams, I cook messes, I respond well to peer pressure. Yeah, he's like, at this point, I forget. That song was about Batman. I'm glad we all associate that song with Batman. <laughs> Excellent. Heavy Mana Beast. That's a cool ass name. Thank you so much for the follow. <gasps> gotcha. Was that for Batman and Robin? Was that song for Batman and Robin? Because. <laughs> Excellent. Epitome of awkward. Well, I think you're smooth and cool. Cool as me falling in the ice. Oh, it's Batman Returns, because there was Batman, and then there was Batman Returns, and then there was Batman and Robin. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I want I want Bomb Man. I can never get Bomb Man. No! I don't fucking remember Batman Forever. You're turning your friend into a goblin? <laughs> your friend consent to this? The one, I remember the one with Catwoman and Mr. Freeze very fondly. I remember loving it. I mean, here's the thing. It was stupid, but it was wonderful. The friend paid money to be made into Goblin. Well, I mean, I guess so did the Green Goblin on Spider-Man. Hold on, I wonder. Oh, I can't eat you after I freeze you? That's stupid. You should be able to eat them after you freeze them. I'm so furious. Take the game back to the store. We've been schmorkeldorfed. I love goblin VTubers. Whenever I've seen somebody with a good goblin design, I'm like, this is excellent. That have the big ass ears. Does the goblin design that you're working on, Rabbit, does do they got big ass ears? Because that's important. It's vital. No, can you freeze food and eat it? I mean, I have tried eating frozen food in real life. I have tried this. Imagine if somebody didn't know that you were supposed to freeze Otter Pops and was just out there slurping the tube.
His false teeth when he's Norman Osborn, his actual teeth when he succumbs to the Green Goblin. Perfect. Hey, Kit! How you doing? How did... How did the Gamers Lounge go? How did the interactive stream dreams go? Kit got her show set up so people could, uh, click and play by committee, which was very, very, very cool. Oh, hey, those are smackable. I see this. You can't fool me. Sometimes you do just want to be a god. I mean... I think even if you're not a goblin, you can respect it. I think every one of us is like, even if you're not a goblin, you sympathize. An unfrozen freezy would taste like a melted slushy, yes. God, I haven't had a I haven't had a good I haven't had a slushy or a slurpee in a while. You're gonna make a please, by all means, I want to see the goblin milf model. can be cool. I bet you could. You know what? Form, that's a very good idea. I'm gonna have to do it. The other thing I could make is I could make shaved... I could make cursed shaved ice. Because to make shaved ice, it's literally that. You put a bunch of shit in ice and you freeze it and then you shave it. So anything you could put in ice, you could make into a cursed shaved ice. A1 steak sauce shaved ice. I'm down. What about Worcestershire shaved ice? I knew there were two buttons. What's a mallort? I don't know what a mallort is, but I'll try it. Oh my god, did you guys see, while we're talking about Worcestershire, did you guys see I tweeted it earlier, the way that man on TikTok catastrophically mispronounced Worcestershire? Oh, to wash your sister sauce? Not an ethical experience. Bonk the monkey. Mallard is. I'm excited to try it. <gasps> Ooh, secret. I will have an apocalyptic dessert. I'm excited for apocalypse dessert. Mallard is an alcoholic beverage known for being rather nasty. I'm down. I'll try it. What's in it? Wash. So here's the thing. I was watching that video completely normally because he doesn't stop after he says wash your sister sauce. He is making a completely straight face mac and cheese video, which by the way looks like it is a delicious mac and cheese. It's like a comzillion bajillion calories because it has like cream cheese and um, cheese that's baked onto the top and mozzarella and cheddar. It's so fucking much cheese, but it looked really fucking good. The other thing he does, which is a great bit that I'm going to steal because good comedians do that, is whenever he deep fries something, he calls it an airless fryer. Well, for me, fight your stepdad juice is water. Where's the last... Where's the last greeny thing? Is it inside of this? Oh, you have to yank this off before the rock comes down on you. I see. That's a fun gimmick. Mallard, literally moth herb, is a Swedish word for wormwood, which is the key ingredient in a basque, a bitter flavor type of Swedish bronvin. Oh, so it tastes like wood. It's one of those alcohols that tastes like wood. I see ya. Gotcha! This little gasoline's good for you. You grow! You have, an, you have a growing experience as a person when you sample gasoline. I mean, you grow in a worse way. You go in the wrong direction, but you grow. I 
I see you, secret. Die! The crime of sleeping is punished. Um, links are kosher. Um, if you have a hard time posting it, I will just VIP you real quick. Violence pop! Ba -ba -ba -da -doo -doo -doo. Hi, Dreamy Sage! Apparently you're not invincible against that. Oh, we got him. Oh, did it block? Yeah, it did block. Here, I'll get you real quick. There, you can try one more time and that you go. I have like a kajillion VIP. VIP slots are very funny. I'm not sure what the purpose of a VIP slot is. Um... Other than a cool badge. I should give people cool badges. That's an incredible fucking billboard. It makes me say, what the fuck? Which I guess is the emotion that you get when you drink Mallard. Hey, that eyeball man does scary thing. Watch this guy. Oh, I see you're one of these enemies. Comes to get me when looking. Oh, that's actually very useful then. Hold on, we can get a base drop? Oh, no, wait, is that just a cone? Wait, was that just a cone? It looked like it had like a speaker on the bottom. Yeah, okay, I guess it's just a weird cone. Oh, it is a speaker! But we can't use it for speaker full purposes. I guess Chicago is just that kind of town. This game takes place in Chicago. No, wait, I want that. Okay, yeah, it is totally a speaker. I see one of these puzzles. Done it. What is the purpose of this, though? Other than to become lost beneath the ice. If I do, here's the thing though, if I do an alcoholic drink and I have, um, or if I do a slushy, don't you have to get it really fucking cold to make alcohol freeze properly? Oh, he's moving! I was like, I cannot tell what the fucking is and isn't, isn't moving right now. It completely threw me. Mallard, when you need to unfriend someone in person, that's good. Also, how is Kirby walking here? Hold on. How is he walking here? Because neither foot is actually on the ground. They're both off the sides. Another alcohol I had, which was really gross, was, um... Grappa. He is walking by sheer willpower, I believe. So. Has anybody ever had Grappa? Because it is a... Hard alcohol made by uh, fermenting, um, I think it's wine skins. You know, so you make one, you swish your grapes, you make wine with what you swished, um, with the juice, and then what's left over, you use that to make grappa. And I'm pretty sure the only reason grappa exists is so that the grape skins don't go to waste. But it's not a good alcohol, it's very painful. It doesn't taste like grape, it just tastes bad.
I'm sorry, this seal man is so good. I just realized also, I thought he was wearing a top hat. He's not wearing a top hat, that's a bucket. I wanted a delicious alcoholic auto pop. It's a good thing that I'm considering this channel more and more food themed because we end up talking about food all the fucking time. What a, hey, what do baby seals and introverts have in common? Not very big on clubbing. <laughs> Thank you, I didn't deserve that. Food is a universal language. And the other thing that's fun about food is you can get in fights about food that are like really intense, but you don't hate each other about them. Like, like you know, bad food takes aren't cancelable. Hi, Dim. Oh, my favorite tiger. How you doing? The windy freezing seas. The breeze of the seas causes me to freeze. And I'm in ice up to my knees. There's a Metal Gear Solid guy who shoots bees. Okay, I need pencil drill before I can do that, I guess. Noble range of treasure! You think there's only four dishes? What are the four dishes? Uh, meat, cheese, soup, and rectangle? Oh, the shots keep going, so I might as well just keep... Oh, independently made these four dishes. Oh, like how everyone has a, uh... A pierogi or ravioli or whatever you call it, like that's a fundamental thing. The dumpling is fundamental. The pancake is fundamental. Gun. Oh, whoops, we're not done. They're shooting back. Everyone has a soup, everyone has a taco, yes. Good morning, it's time for mayonnaise. Everyone has a mayonnaise. These dogs are making my life difficult. Oh, were those dogs just out of range that whole time? Oh, I couldn't hit those dogs, I see. I talked about it a little bit on Discord, but um, Dylan Hollis, our friend Dylan Hollis, who did the Good Morning It's Time for Mayonnaise voice, he did a mayonnaise cake that had mayonnaise icing. It was a chocolate mayonnaise cake with chocolate mayonnaise icing. And I want to do a mayonnaise episode. When I do that, we're going to make mayonnaise and we're going to make the chocolate mayonnaise cake. We'll make cupcakes version, though. Ouch! Oh yeah, by the way, for anyone who hasn't been here in a hot minute, there's new redeems. You can abuse me. Commit violence. Clutter needle. Yes, please. I need more of these because I got upgrades to get. 
Everyone has a soup, everyone has a food they drive on purpose, everyone has a food that's intentionally a portable carb on, around a protein unit. Oh, roll up and throw! I see! Interesting! The Mayo Clinic is a hilarious name. I need to come up with a good, with a good like, cooking set too, so like... My cooking set that I have... That you guys have seen me use... That was just a stock picture I bought really quick because I was like, I don't have anything! Vegetables fit anywhere if you got the right mindset. Oh yeah, there's always some fucked up food that every culture has that's like, the primary purpose of this is to preserve things. Oops. USDA compliant slime labs. Um, the one dish that people eat under a cloth so God can't see them eat it? That's an incredible concept. Whoops. I fucked up. Okay, can you guys roll closer? Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. Some kind of bird? I want to eat the bird. Show me the delicious bird. I have never tried Vegemite and I kind of want to. Eating a whole sparrow. Eating a whole sparrow sounds like an act of pure desperation. Or Ortolan bunting. That sounds like an ethical outdoor sport. Hey, do you want to go bunting later? I like salt and I like umami. I fucking love salt. I wonder if I want Spiky Man because it's giving me Spiky Man. Oh! I do want Spiky Man. I've acquired Spiky Man. There's a whole list of things that I really need to try on the air. Vegemite is one of them. I wonder where you can find it. Because I've never been like, mm, I could use some Vegemite. The purpose of the towel is to be in some claim is to retain the maximum aroma of the flavors that consume the entire bird at once. Other of state of tradition indicates this to shield from God's eyes the shame of such a decadent disgrace like. So when they cook this bird, how do they cook this bird? Like, what are they doing to this bird? Having salt is only one of the things that you can taste sounds no fun. I feel poor, poor fella. <gasps> Jelly donut! Authentic flavor in every bite. So when you say they eat a whole sparrow, does that include like the bones? Does that include like the feathers? Seven grams of Vegemite for 25 bucks? That shit better- that shit better last a fucking long ass time. Holy crap! I'm not going that way. I see secrets down here. Oh, then the bull has killed himself. The Ortolan is eaten whole, with or without the head, and the consumer spits out the larger bones. Wow! That's... You know what? I understand why God doesn't want to see this. It's... Here's the thing. 
it, this show we cook, I cook on this show. Also, we started out, I'm gonna have to go back and clip and highlight it. We started out by watching some fucked up recipes. Oh, so that way it's like fatty and salty and umami. That sounds really good. No more seal crimes. No more seal crimes, none. You've done it, Kirby! You've acquired the power of all! Boat! Do not do this to me. I'm a busy boy with a big adventure. Did you try Dashi? How'd it work out for you? I think it's delicious. It's very, very, very good. Oh, I have to enjoy meals at sea? That's my bonus in this level? I will do everything in my power to find meals at sea then. Yeah, I bought Dashi just for that, for the uh, takoyaki recipe, but it's so useful. Squab is. Alright, hold on. Before I take that star, it looks like there's some indoor area that I haven't gotten to yet. I think it's okay to eat a little pigeon. Is it up here we haven't done yet? Thank you, Silverwind. Thank you for sending me to this land. Aha! That's what we haven't found yet. Very glad the Waddle Dees complain loudly the whole time. So true. I'm so glad my sister suggested the clown nurse, because my sister suggested the clown nurse like offhand, and I was like, that's really good, ping it to me, and when I redo my model, I'll add it. And then it's here, and people love it. Well, then I have to enjoy a meal at sea. <gasps> We've gotten a waddle deedle for eating meals at sea. This is just like a cruise. Um, so when I have done dashi, I just purchased dashi powder. Like, I went to the Japanese food store, I bought the powdered dashi, and then I just dump it in. Make a broth. Like, I have never done it the truly, like, wonderful, fancy way that you're supposed to. Also, hold on! Oh, there's a platform down there! Look at this. I'm sorry. Oh, you need to be over here with fire. I see. Well, we can't get him this time. I'm gonna have to come back to it. The other thing that I still want to do is... Dashi is delicious, but it definitely threw a lot of people. I definitely want to make, um... I'm gonna call it Walmart Takoyaki, where it's... I'm gonna make, because everybody's like, Takoyaki looks so good. But sometimes the ingredients can be hard to source, and a lot of people are a little thrown off by Octa, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna make it with stuff that you can definitely just find in an American grocery store. Oh wait, no, I want Fireboy. Did Fireboy respawn or am I doomed? Oh no, there's one down there. Get the fire there. You really got it at Safeway? Wow. Good on you getting it at Safeway, that's incredible. Dragonfire Blueprint, that sounds fun as hell. Okay, I was like, can you- Wait, hold on, this is kind of working.
Did you see that? You can just combat roll up the wind. Frozen fish, you know what? You know what, Rena, you're giving me an idea. I should try and do one that's like decent and then one that's like cursed, like what you just said. Also, this is, I'm gonna be able to get back up to that other fiery spot through that lantern. I can't believe this is working as well as it is. I am very amused that this worked. Oh, but what was the point of that though? It just showed me that he was down here? Is there something else in here? Huh, oh well. Oh well. Seaweed salad that expired a year or two ago does sound very cursed, yes. Constantly molested until it's mostly circular is quite a sentence. Hey there, Gordo. Hey, there's- I don't know what this thing's actual name is because you guys got me calling it Squidward's house. Hello, secret. I'm glad they put this little blinky 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 here. The, the, the frame rate, like, I, at first I was like, that's silly, but now that it's grown so much of me, it's so good. I think that repurposing a muffin pan is definitely the most practical way to do it. Okay, I see. I've got to be. I've got to be up there in time to do that. Are your emoticons not working? Kirby, honey, you gotta go fast. We're in a hurry. And we've done it. There he goes, on his journey to heaven. Oh, we missed one along the way! Oh no, we've missed a midway one. Unfortunate. Sorry that it ruined your adorable face. You did not deserve this. You did not deserve to have your face stolen. What's in the background there? Oh, power lines. Cool. mystical new friend you met in a mysterious new world. Um, well, here's the thing. I only see it if I look, um, I have to look over at my other monitor. So, the way I have it set up right now is I have one monitor right in front of me, and that just has the switch on it. And then my other monitor has the, the, all my Twitch and all my stream stuff showing up here. So I don't see stuff popping up on top of the game. Because, yeah, that would drive me bonkers. Big Kabu, that's his name. It looks like they're going in. He's devouring them. Like that famous painting of Saturn devouring his son. Twitch streaming is a lot of multitasking. Twitch streaming has taught me that multitasking does not make you better at multitasking. Because Lord knows I've done it a bunch. After this, I think I'm going to head back into town because I wonder if I can buff any of my power-ups. 
Get that Meta Knight Sword. It used to make my brain feel so microwaved. Like when we were pretty new to all this and I did a uh, Final Fantasy remake with Fire Mountain, we would hit like the hour three mark and my head would be uncomfortable. Oh, they go down, I see. we go. That wasn't so hard. Okay, target time 30 seconds would be pretty tough. Also, very, very often I will like, if I'll be like playing a game on stream and then I'll play it on my own time and I'll be like, oh my god, there's so many mechanics and things that I just did not click with. That happens constantly. Like, I'll jump back and I'll be like, oh, I missed a bunch of things that my brain couldn't absorb. Like, I'll or I'll watch, like, the VOD, and it'll be like, oh my god, duh. Like, before I started streaming myself, I watched um, a little bit of Vine Sauce here and there, and his chat would call it Vine Blind because it would be like he would miss something that was right in front of him. And I would be like, wow, he really did miss things that were right in front of him. And then I started doing this, and I miss things that are right in front of me all the time. Why would I want that? Okay, you know what? No, I'm not going to question it. I wonder if you can upgrade sleep. That'd be hilarious. Let's see. Um... I'm very curious about Dragonfire. Takes three and eight hundred. We can afford that. I want to get that uh, that Meta Knight sword, but let's do Dragonfire. Oh, speaking of um, FF7R. Um, this Thursday over on Fire Mountain's channel, we're going to do... Um, we're gonna do Integrator, Yuffie, or whatever the new expansion is called. We were testing it last night. Whoa! Holy shit! Well, this rules. This whips. Also hurts like crazy. I want. Thank you, Kev. Okay, we need some more stones. We'll get them. Still, though, this is beautiful, useful. Does this take just one? No, it takes two. Okay, cool. So we still need to get a bunch more of those. Oh, well. Kev, you know that the nose is just a formality anyway. I'm- <gasps> Oh, he's alive. Oh, thank God. If you bonk any of the Waddle Dees around here by accident, they stay down for a while and it scares me. I worry about them. Actually, you know what? Let's keep seeing if we can do any more of these. I'll look back in the early areas too. Because we need, what, two more for Meta Knight Sword? What's the gimmick here? Oh, just that you guys are on little... The, I just need to blow you up over there? I guess these float. Do regular bombs not float? I guess also I could be setting up chains here, too.
His our bombs colliding in midair. How powerful. Actually, I wonder if I put this out over here, if that'll swing into the back of them. The answer is yes. Goodbye, gents. Oh, come on! I wish I'd gotten you! Here's the close! Wait, how did we get you out of the pool? I was looking at the other guy. I keep falling in myself. I need to be a little more careful. There we go, that was a little more accurate. What's up, big guys? Glad you're back. Yeah, I was talking about what we're doing this week. I'm very excited. I've done an abysmal job at this one. Whoopsies, get degrees. We're still gonna get our, go our goal. It's okay, as long as you're here Thursday night for your own chow. Also, you feel better? You still feel yucky? Let's see. How many do I have now? I need one more. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, pineapple and olive pizza with burnt with burnt crust, Mary. Sweet, salty, and bitter in a delicious but unpopular way. Adding anchovies only enhances this flavor, Nirvana. Kirby is good for squish. The man is built to be squash. When you gaze upon him, know that you can squish. That you will squish, and you should squish. Doesn't he do that in um, Kirby 64? Doesn't he rub like a balloon and charge himself up? I feel like he does this. I wish I could do this in real life. Become more powerful with every- Oh, he does! He rubs foil on his head and burns himself. You're right. I've spoken falsehoods of Curb. Whoa, almost went off the edge. I think I understand that they kind of did everything they could with it, and that's why I didn't come back. But the power-up combining mechanic was so good. It was so, 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 so good. I never beat Kirby 64, like, fully. I never got all the crystal shards. I think it was my first proper Kirby, too. Alright, let's go get that, that Mennonite sword. We've earned it. We deserve it. It was slow. Yeah, it was not a fast game. I think it's okay if games aren't crazy fast, but it... It was definitely slow. I'm very excited for the Mennonite Sword. Oh, he gets the mask! Oh, I love you, Kirby. 
Oh my god, the little bat projectiles that pop off. What, you being spoiled that... Oh! I'm sorry, I did not mean to spoil. The animations for this power-up are incredible. Can I charge it? Oh, I can charge it, and while charging it, I can move around. Uh, this is an incredibly good weapon. I wonder if I keep killing Mr. Sandbags if eventually a Mega Sandbag will, alive, will evolve. Oh wait, will he tell you about abilities? I didn't even talk to him just like randomly. If you swing that Mennonite sword with full health, you'll have to Oh, you have to have full health. If you have two health if you have two health bars? What do you do to have two health bars? I didn't even know that was a mechanic in the game. Press L and R plus A to sword slide. Follow with A and then rapidly B do an upper caliber attack. Hold on, so. So if I, let me try this. So if I, oh, what the, that rules. Hold on, so A, A. Um, that's good as hell. God, I love the little fucking mask. This is again one of those vibes where you can smell that Smash Brothers DNA, HAL Laboratory. Even when they're not making Smash Brothers, there's a little bit of it in here. See what you have to say about Toy Hammer. I bet I'm missing a bunch of these if he'll tell me about them. Was there a Kirby fighting game? I mean, other than Smash Brothers? You can charge it up. Uh... Oh, okay, so this one's less exciting. Is. It's... Are the level 3 ones uniquely exciting? Kirby the Fighters? Listen, if you told me that there was Kirby the Fighters in Sonic, I would just believe it. I did. Also, hi, Bancha. Hello, hello, hello. I wonder if I can make it to... Hold on, I wonder if I can get sleep and make it to him in time. I want to talk to him. I really, really, really... I wonder if he has dialogue. I wonder if there's a way to get over there in time. Do you have anything to tell me about Chain Bomb? Oh, just about the big kabooms. Very good power-ups. What is the advantage to no auto-swallow? Good old crab. Actually, let me take fire. Fire was kind of fun. I'm curious what the level 3 um, of a lot of these is going to be. Oh! Oh, duh! Oh, duh, 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 duh. All right, that makes so much sense. You're right.
Oh, you can't talk to him? Aw, that's sad. I really wish he had dialogue for that. I'd be too sleepy to talk. Oh no, he does! He does have dialogue from it. It, it still counts afterwards. I'm glad they did something. That's fun. Anyway, let's take this. This is a boss coming up. I thought for sure that what was going to happen was he only comments on if you actively have it on. What do you mean it's silly? He's powerful. He's strong. Oh, is there an item? Is there a, a warp gate here? Well, let's treasure road it. Pipe mouth? Fuck yeah. I love the, I love the mouth mode ones. These are so cute. Let's go! Sorry, boys. Herbie looks so distressed. Tube Zone is so powerful. Oh god, this is... Oh, that's hard! Watch out! You're gonna crash! This ah! is tough! This one's really tough. This is... Oh my... Oh, you're kidding me. Now it's a matter of principle. This is, you know what? You can't fool me. This is a minecart level. There's no minecart, but this is a minecart level. I think you're tricking me. I figured you out. Oh, come for the fudge on. Tube death is pretty funny. Okay. Nintendo, I don't... Okay, we're fucked. We're done. See, that's the problem is when you fuck up, it's like now I don't have time no matter what. It's funny, I had a hard time saying Minecraft when I meant Minecart too. My brain was completely discombobulating those. Sw sw swash slash wisely. There, I got it out. Jesus Christ. Treasure roads are a very fun idea. Correct decision making is required. Looking ahead and thinking. Oh, fart! I don't know why I didn't say fuck there. Oh, yay! Thank you!
L that I missed that one. Wait, do I need to? Is the whole is the whole plate coming down? Is that what's happening here? Is this whole this whole enchilada coming down? It is. However, we're fucked because I didn't get all of them. Yeah, we're fucked. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this up there. Actually, hold on, maybe. Because I dropped the gate down on top of it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that was unethical. Thank you. I think that's a Keystone of Dreams. I had a book about dream interpretation, and if you've ever had a dream, um, where you were running away from something and you're having a hard time running, that means that in your waking life, you like when people are nice to you and hate when people are not nice to you. And if you've ever had a dream where you were back in school even though you've long graduated, that means that, um, you have something to accomplish tomorrow. Just giving, like, the most, like, vague, like, blatantly no-duh. According to my horoscope, you're going to experience events tomorrow, which is a bad horoscope. I will tell you more. Um... This week, in your future, Kanye Fire Mountain, you will have to do things you don't want to do to preserve your health, but there will also be opportunities to do things that you like to do. Or I think you're completely correct. Big bridge. Some other common dream themes. I have never had that dream, but I have done that many a time. Let's, Let's go, go, girls! The most vague fortune I can think of is. Tomorrow, you will feel sleepy late in the day, but earlier in the day, you will feel less sleepy. The time right after you wake up, you will feel a little sleepy. <gasps> turkey! Nice, I've acquired turkey. Hello, monkey. Goodbye, monkey. I'm going in the hall. Oh, I see! I've got to time my cut! Ay, We've done it! Yeah, but sometimes you feel more tired and sometimes you feel less tired. Sometimes you feel the equal amount of tired. The boy! I've talked about it many times, but I still very regularly have the nightmare theme of suddenly wolves or suddenly bears. There's a creepy dude in the shower? That's amazingly scary. Oh, you want to spin? Let's say you fucking spin. I'll show you to fucking rotate.
You can taunt with some mouthfuls? I'm gonna have to try that. Ooh, holy shit, that hurts. I do when I was when I lived in my house for like let me get let me get tornado for a hot minute. Um when I lived in my house for the first time by myself, there were so many weird noises that would scare the hell out of me. I have very few driving dreams. Wish I had more driving dreams. Oh, can we use tornado to spin bridge? I might have missed my window of opportunity here. Yep, yeah, I missed my window of opportunity here. Oh well. I it's so funny. I have had very few dreams where I was driving a car. But whenever I have a dream about a car, I usually end up like. It's not even like I'm driving it, it's sort of like the car just like exists around me. Oh, I didn't even need it. The door stayed broken. Fuck me over here. Oh, it stayed open. I'm stupid. Kevin, you're right, yeah. Oh well. I wanna have a dream where I go to Tim Hortons. I think we all deserve more nice dreams. Hey, hold on, there's a pathway to paths, to routes and accessible places. I like the bus stream, that's a good one. Books, do you have a, you have a recurring theme of bookstores? That's a fun one. I, for whatever reason, had a recurring, I had a lot of cruise ships. I don't know why cruise ships, but there are a lot of recurring cruise ship dreams. Actually, you know what? I may do this this way. I may just fight you this way. This is actually working pretty well. Optimus Prime was mixing a cocktail. That rules. I think that Optimus Prime would be an incredible mixologist. Oh, can I not inhale those? Those look inhalable. Malls make sense. Malls are so dreamlike to begin with, honestly. Malls are very surreal. Goodbye, monkey! children. Aha! Blankable button. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, whoopsie. I have had a lot of dreams. That's a very common theme for me, too. A dream where I'm, like, in a place that is not an airport, but is somehow also an airport. It's funny how I feel like I feel like I have had a lot of dreams where it's like I'm somehow in two places at the same time. Like it'll be like, oh, I'm in an underwater cave, but I'm also in the Walmart my dad owns. You know? Kirby, you wanna fucking go here, buddy? Hey, we've done it. Acquired boy. Oh, wait a minute, there is a, there is a taunt. Elfin comes out, look at this. That's cute. That 
that's cute. I'm so glad that NFTs are starting to die off. It really seems like they're having a much harder time lately. Good riddance. Ice boy! Ice boy! Oh, geez, Louise, Mamma Mia. Hey, don't land on top of me. Actually, you know what? I may spit power. I may just do the old strategy with you. Double frosty sounds delicious, doesn't it? This requires a lot of time and paying attention here. You guys are really coming after me. Oh, they're both mad. Did Ubisoft- Oh, holy shit, I'm getting trounced. Did you hear Kirby struggling? Poor little guy. It's so hard to be a curb out here. Guess what? Brother murder! I remember hearing about it. I assumed that it just... That it came out and like... Did it come out and flop or did they just completely just dunk it? I still think it's fucking hysterical, hysterical, hysterical that Twitter worked so hard to implement that, um, that NFT gallery feature. And now the only thing that I do with that is the second I see somebody blocked, just blocked, insta-blocked. When I see a hexagon, you are hexagon. Digga! Wiggle jump surprise. I think some sort of meanie awaits us beyond this door. Some sort of nasty fellow. Who awaits within? I have a funny feeling I know who this is gonna be. Like, I have a very funny feeling I know who this is gonna be. That being said, let's go on a little side journey. I really would be happy if... Twitter is such a sucky website for artists. They would, I would actively praise them if they just took that NFT gallery feature that they made and just let people list like regular art in the gallery. Ah, oh, damn. Twitter, well, what sucks about Twitter, and people have pointed this out a lot, is they're like, when I've had art in like, um, like DeviantArt or Tumblr, it's like, people will go and look through your gallery and like, they'll find your older stuff. But Twitter is designed for a conversation. So like, you have to like, talk about it or bump it or otherwise keep people posted. And like, once it's fallen off the main page, I think the only reason it's essential for artists is it's big. Tumblr, Tumblr was good for artists, and Tumblr got kabonkerated, and DeviantArt is strange at times. I also think, like, DeviantArt is just art, whereas, like, Tumblr was good for artists, but also had, like, actual conversations. 
Yeah, conversation is a stretch, you're right. Oh, we don't have to- we have to actually get Time Crash? Fun. Twitter is- yeah, Twitter is designed for hot takes. Silverwind, that would be fun. We deserve that. I'm sorry, can we get protein powder? Every time I've used Deviator, I'm fucking confused. Yeah, there's not a lot to, like, pull you back to DeviantArt. Like, you went on DeviantArt to, like, check people that you liked. Um. There really is no, like, main art page. Yeah, I just want a fucking gallery website that isn't fucking... Also, it feels like whenever I go on DeviantArt... It feels like it's slow to do anything. Let's get Frosty. Hi. I hope so. He deserves to be- <gasps> Look at that! Look at his little hat! Oh my god, you can make mans. You can make a mans and push a mans. How many mans can I make? Lots of mans. The butt patch. and move. Poking his butt. I just want to pet him. I just, he's so, he's so cute. Look at him. You're my son, you know that? He does. He knows this. Mustaches in real life, too. I'm gonna take this one real quick. It's important to pet the curb. Oh, Jesus, what the okay. So, I just sorry, a weird error message just popped up on my screen. I hit the add channel marker button, so like when I'm streaming, I will hit the button to like add a marker on the VOD in case something happens that I want to clip later. And it popped up and it was like, added a marker at the 4,298,000th minute of your stream. And I was like, I don't think I've been live that long. <laughs> Thank you, Kev. Him doing his taunts with the, with the Meta Knight mask on is good. Ouch. Yeah, for me, it was absolutely one of those. It probably pulled some weirdo variable it wasn't supposed to. Thank you. An unexpected beast king. I just want an unexpected feast king. Ooh, hold on. Look, there's lots of cages and stuff. Are we learning more about what has happened here? Are the events of this land going to start to come to light? Um, I would... Here, I'll actually... Let me see if it pops up again. I missed it. Let me get it. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the number. Yeah, the number that comes up is like... 458-258-2711. It's completely insane. Stop bullying me. That's cyberbullying in real- Ouch! You've created a stack. Yeah, no, it's an insanely big number, and I'm like, I don't think I've been alive that long. Alright, I'm gonna keep met. Um, I'll 
keep Mennonite Sword. Mennonite Sword is good. What's up, boys? These poor beast puppies are so cute. Yep! I called it. I called it. I mean, it was not a hard guess. Is it, is it a variable? Is it like the maximum amount allowed by a certain size variable? Yeah, what is the point of kidnapping all the Waddle Dees though? Oh, big puppies! Oh my god, they're like wargs. timing on it. I forgot how much I love the role. His DD design stuff. That's good. That's comedy. Oh, no. Holy crap. Hold on. Out of my way, fuckers. I'm time for me to get more followers. Oh my guy. DDD, what the fuck? Homing bomb? Fuck yeah. I mean, actually, it makes sense they fought him in the ice world. I always forget DDD's a penguin. Like, I'm so used to. I'm so used to looking at King DD that I kind of forgot that he's a penguin. <laughs> Look at him fucking walk! Wait, where are you fucking going? Where are you fucking... I, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he fucking doing? You can swallow his hammer? That's funny. I'm sorry, that was <laughs> his fucking face. We have to save the rat. We have to save the little rat that we love so much. Ooh. I did not get the time crash ability yet. Ooh. Wait, what's at the top of that mountain? What's at the top of that mountain? DDD does look very good. The wastes where life began. Oh shit. It's a whole ass another continent out here. This I did not expect. Um. Oh no, no, here's the thing. I did get the time crush ability. Um. I just haven't gotten the upgrade. Yeah, I haven't I haven't bought it yet because I was like, I don't know, 
I'm gonna use it for, but it does sound pretty fucking useful now that I think about it. I may upgrade bomb. Let's see. Um, yeah, because I can upgrade this. Oh, but it takes three, and I didn't have three yet. I gotta go get three. Ah, beans. How are you today, Bancha, by the way? Ender Dragon, um... That's so true. I am constantly saying this. Merry Statsmas to you, too. I have to admit, that's the first time somebody in chat has completely befuddled me. <laughs> Nick Cage did an AMA. I'm very excited to see what that, how that boy had to say. The ultimate in pronouns, Overdrive. That's funny. Oh, are these the levels? The waste. I'm excited to see what the hell the waste where life began could possibly be. I want to keep trucking. I mean, here's the thing. That befuddled all of you. All of you saw that text appear and were like, uh... Oh, wait, there was just a hidden coin? Cool. The music has gotten very dramatic. No, I have not abused Waddle D liveries yet. This is this is interesting. So this this level feels like it's kind of taking it back a little bit. Like the very first world is like, hey, you're in a forgotten post-apocalyptic land, and then it kind of wandered away from that a little bit. Like it wasn't as like in your face about it. And now it's like, by the way, this is a fucking apocalypse. Oh, so the puppies have gotten meaner. We now have desert puppies. I love them. They're very cute. I'm sorry that I have to do this to you. Yeah, look at him. He's very positive. Here he is. This is what he has to say to you. We love him, we do. We do love him. Look at them coming at you over the mist, too! Oh, oh wait, what shot at me? I was- Oh, you guys shot at me? Oh, no, there's a gun dog over here, I see. I'll take- I'll take gun. I forgot I have auto swallow turned off. What's your deal? You're cool looking. Are you gonna take that treasure chest and run with it? There's no reason to not put ketchup on a hot dog. That's true though. Ketchup? Hot dogs need ketchup. Here's the thing. Hot dogs don't taste bad. Hot dogs are usually in my book pretty... Pretty under flavored by themselves. Like they're usually lightly seasoned. And you need to add some stuff to take them take them up a notch. Unlike a lot of, like, sausages, like, you know, Italian sausage and things like that, that's got something going on where you can kind of enjoy it by itself. Oh, I love mustard. <gasps> you know what I fucking love? I love honey mustard so much. I... Part of my soul is always seven years old at Chili's looking at the menu going, I think I'm gonna get the honey mustard chicken fingers. Honey mustard is so- I don't buy honey mustard because if I buy honey mustard, I will eat all the honey mustard because it's so good. Can I say what? Oh, potato- oh, potato- pop-tato? Pop-tato chips with ketchup. Pop-tato chips with ketchup. <laughs> Excellent! And the Lord himself has followed us because of pop-tato chips with ketchup. Thank you so much for the follow. Potato, potato chips with ketchup. Hi, Misha. Also, hold on, let me do.
Also, whatever link you, uh, your link should work now. Um, uh, overdrive. I just added. I'm doing what? Oh no! I'm doing terrible. I've fallen in the slurp. I've saved it. Never mind. Listen, it took a few tries. It's hard for me to pronounce things correctly. Oh, thank you for clipping that. I like ketchup, but I understand why people don't like ketchup. I wish all gloop was friendly to me. I love how soft and schmorshy your mouth is. Did you see the way he's just, just like that one? I don't know that. It's such a lazy chomp. Now, the last time you had honey mustard on hand, you ate sandwiches of banana slices on a bun? That's a strange flavor combination. I believe it if it was like plantain or something. But banana with honey mustard... I would like to be on board with it. Is this sneak gonna... Oh, he just chases me. Okay, he just chases me and tries to get me. Oh, I'm so lucky I did that. I was like, I've... Oh, does he do something funny if he munches you? Well, I will let him do that in the future. Look at these puppies having a puppy conference in the dunes. Oh, they're playing with a ball! Oh, I've ruined their day. They were just having a fun time playing with a ball. Um, I would be down to try it. Here's the thing, I will try anything. I am very adventurous when it comes to food. Oh, there's a climbing up here, yeah. There it is. I was like, there's gotta be one, yep. Why is there a spiky boy in this arena? They are primal of woofies. Yeet. Primal of woofle. Sorry, did I say woofie or a woofle? I don't remember which I said was one of them. Hey! Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Ah, beverage! Oh, it's a boat! Hey, this is this is how Splatoon 3 fucking looks. God, once once fucking Splatoon 3 drops. Hit me with another shoe and find out the face of God himself. Once Splatoon 3 drops, it's gonna be like Splatoon 3 and cooking is all this channel is gonna be. So I hope you're ready for that. doesn't fear God. Oh no, we're still making a team. I'm so down. It's gonna be good. Yes, yeah, Splatoon. So all, well, all the Splatoon is post-apocalyptic. Um, it's just Splatoon 3 looks more post-apocalyptic because it seems to be out in the desert. You know... Ouch. Ouch. Expl Splatoon 3 is gonna be so good. I was playing, I jumped on Splatoon 2 the other night and I was like, 
This is good. I love this game still, but I've kind of done everything. So I'm like, kind of just have to wait for Brie to drop. Yeah, all the dead coral and stuff. Clearly something went to shit around here. Oh, whoa, look at those! Big windmills. I think big windmills like that are so cool. Yeah, that was my thought, Anna. I was like, let me not go too crazy with them. There's a bunch of those big windmills on the way to my, um, my parents' house out in Palm Desert. It looks not unlike this. I mean, perhaps a little un- Stop spamming. That's not fun anymore. Um, it looks a lot like this, too, except they're, you know, a little less broken. I think they're beautiful. Thank you for the timeout. How do I crack that? Let's see. Oh, I bet I have to knock down some of these poles onto it. Whoops. Yes, please. Thank you for sp thank you. No, no spamming long text. Um. Yeah, Splatoon with people you love, with people you like, is awesome. Like I have played so much of it with randos, and it's good with randos. But communication is. Awesome. I- they're not called a woofy. I- I- wait, are they called a woofy? I thought that was just a stupid word I made that I said that was made up. Please don't tell me they're actually called a woofy. Ooh, hello, secret. I like how that door was extra big to fit the ring throw. Lizard! Why was there just a regular lizard? Animal Waddle Dee is a good name. They are, they are very Animal Waddle Dee. That's a good name for it. I wonder why, it feels weird that there was just a regular lizard. Like for whatever reason, I'm willing to accept regular birds. But regular lizard throws me. A woofy is good. Waddle Dee is a person. You know what? You could tell me that the woofles are werewolf Waddle Dees, and I would believe it. I feel like having an animal copy ability would be like too on the nose. I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. It feels like. Well, I guess there's a Mennonite power up. You know what? I would love to see Animal come back. Animal was fun. I don't remember playing much Squeak Squad. I think my sister had it and I didn't. Hello, Sneaky. He's chasing me. Oh, I like that chomp. Hold on, does this have a... This does have moves. A oh, woofy. I'm gonna keep fucking it up. I can't speak... I can't speak regular words, not... Let alone made up words. My capacity for new words topped out in like 1997. Oh, hello, hotel. We've done it, the Hotel California. Origin of all life is indeed a motel. It makes sense. 
Defeat the Lost Squishy? That's a good name. Monkey! Monkey teeth! Mookie! Oh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't look happy. He looks like he wants to violence you. I missed a lot of D's. I really did. I'm sorry that I've missed so many D's. I get a D in D finding. Searching the oasis. Oh my god, we're actually in the hotel that rules. I'm so happy we're in the hotel. Hi, Lloyd! I don't think I have an Woofy. Um. We will check, though. He did have a bearded dragon energy to him, didn't he? So wait a minute, can regular hammer not hit these? Are these buttons toy hammer exclusive? Because that's an interesting choice. The helmet is so good. These waddles. That, that's good. There is such potential there. Yeah, no, that was very satisfying. Bonk and clonk. I'm very happy with how that went. Kirby does the safe... If Kirby's wearing his helmet, that means the dance he does after bosses is the safety dance. Kirby can dance if you want to, but you explicitly don't want to leave your friends behind. Hold on, this isn't post-apocalyptic. Motels just look like this. This is either a post-apocalyptic environment or San Bernardino right now. You've given me armor! The friends do dance, yes. So, do the awoofles? I can't remember if it's a woofy or a woofle. <laughs> do, the, do, the, do, the, do the desert versions have a different name? Wait, do... Did Confetti knock the box around? He... <laughs> Magical Boy Cupid, it's possible? Also, I think my friends are just at any moment looking at me and going, I could beat the shit out of her. I think my friends, just when they look at me, those who have known me for many, many years are like, I'm gonna hit her. Primal a Woofy! Such a good name. Such a good name. You guys are gonna learn how to speed speed run do violence on me. Tricks on how to use the confetti to damage boost. Together we will combine our skills and beat Twitch. You guys said that I should get bitten by him. I'm gonna get bitten by him and see if- Oh, he does that! That was not a- I didn't like that animation. I don't want to see that again. I wonder... Was Suchi? It is fat. You're right. It is a fat. It's a Suchi Noko. I wish I could burn away the purple. Oh well. 
Actually, I haven't had Cutter in a while. Give me Cutter. Suchinoko real. Suchinoko has always been real and is my friend. Snake, um... Okay, he has a much bigger, bigger gap. There we go. Him continually bumping into the thing was very funny. The Waddle Dee of the pool! Oh, you can cut the plants! That's kind of cute. Oh my god, look at him sleeping by the water's edge! Yeah, I was about to say, Tanya explicitly hates snakes. I'm gonna leave that little boy right there. But he does sound good to nap by the pool. Is this a secret award? Is this- am I gonna get a bonus for this? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. That rules. That rules! Um, we should dig out the clips because once upon a time, Tanya was subjected to a flabbergasting sneaky time and that's where the sneak remover came from. I need to not walk into the purple. Whenever I fall asleep, like, I've, whenever I've fallen asleep by the beach or anything like that, I... Hold on! I have to... This is a man! Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, he doesn't get hurt. How do you know my regular father isn't evil? Ooh, you look cuttable. You look like something I want to slice and dice. Oh, it just stuns you. Oh no, I can't kill you! It just takes a few schmacks. Good. Sometimes you just gotta shoot a little purple goop here and there. It's a growing experience. I wonder if I leave him for a second if he'll grow back tall. I bet he will. It is a defense mechanism, you know, some of us, you know, yawn or laugh when we're in awkward situations. I make goop. It's okay, it's normal. You thought you could hide this from me, I saw it. <gasps> oh, super duper cutter, that rules. Hi, Deader. I want merch, I don't want to be like... Most of the stuff related to being like a famous VTuber or something like that sounds annoying. I just want merch. I'm good. Oh, a gloop squid would be cute. There is something back here. I was like, this man is too in the way of everything to not be important. Liquid underflow parts. I can't picture this in my head. Um. I would want, you know those silly little Toho dolls? I want one, I want one of those that looks like me. Gloop lava lamp would be good. A 
I've done it. I've acquired access to whole. Yes, Cupid! How can I help you? The sticky stone. Actually, hold on. Hold on. The idea of, like, stretchy grabby hand, that's a good one. I like that. Where are we going? This is where we are going, I suppose. Ah! Oh, yes, we've done it. I like the fact that that cactus has apparently grown corn. Cactuses do this. Oh, you DM'd it to me, Bonja? Thank you. So happy they put those blue retry stars after a lot of segments like that. Mr. Mole, what are you up to? Oh no, we were about to go Super Mario Sunshine. I see the water pipe up there. Oh, and I gotta get the diggy power. Hold on. There's sparkle in the ground. Goodbye, puppy. Oh, but not on the ladder, just kidding. Love that it's telling you, like, for the love of God, more. Apparently the ground is too soaked in toxins to get through that way. Did they really spam again after like multiple warnings? Okay. <laughs> yeah, bye. You guys were nice. They can be booted. Oh, I've got to dig in all of them. I see. See? Oh, you can't dig in metal. Should have learned this if I went to dig in college. <laughs> I like the noise it makes, though, that clink, clink, clink. Let me guess, it's gonna be on this one. Yep! Okay, did we all kind of get that vibe? Sometimes when people are around, I'm like, that is a child. Oh, the ska sandwich? It's exactly what it sounds like. See? It's the ska sandwich. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's part of a balanced breakfast. If you eat sandwiches for breakfast. I like this one the best. Is it wrong for a mother to play favorites with her children? So now that we've now that we opened, thank you for pie. Now that we've opened this, um, was there another route that needed to be taken, or did I miss something? Sick! Was there another route that needed to be taken through here? What did I miss? I feel like I missed a path. No, I guess, no, this, wait, this has the one star of side room. This has the one star of side room, that's right. Oh, you're right, I didn't even go up that way. Jokes. Whoopsie. 
Now, is there another pipe with which to drench and quench this blade? Oh, that's right, if you draw a circle with this. You do that. Let's see. The V wiggles are cute. I wonder if I can get all the. I mean, actually, I'm probably supposed to come back here with water, huh? Maybe this is working, but. Is there an over here route? There is! I think Kirby deserves human feet. Wrench this boy. Clean! Get cleaned on! Poison Crocums? What an upsetting name. We're all full of water sometimes. Hello, seagulls. Pay attention to me, seagull! I wish seagulls were my friends. Yeah, I think there's not, just to like make it make sense with the, uh, the power hose power. Safety dance joke. Kirby's made a friendship. That Undertale bit about, like, monsters are made of magic, humans are made of water. Kirby is made of more magic than most other monsters. Treasure. You ever collected treasure in games? Just once in my life I want to open a treasure chest. How is Power Watch Simulator? It seems like every streamer at some point in their life must play Power Watch Simulator. Because I see lots of people just like, hey, I'm playing Power Watch Simulator. I sort of assume that, like, at some point, somebody just shows up at your house. With a copy of Power, si Power Watch Simulator. Not Power Simulator. That's what it is when your moderator power goes crazy. Drill treasure. I would love some drill treasure. Hey, Kirby has a spinny thing on top of his head. And I have little spinny things on top of my head, too. Ooh, this is a fun way to do this. No hedgehog crimes allowed. None. No, my Cinnabons aren't on top of my head, that's true. You're right, I'm a fraud and a failure. Oh, I gotta go around for that one. I see. The real treasure is the drill that pierces the heavens. Hey, Crocum. Very funny that you guys are called Crocum. I don't know why this cracks me up. It's just good. Hey, Spinny Boys. Oh, there's where we go, I see. I admit all my crimes. I'm just unstoppable and there's nothing you guys can do about them. I like the colors in this one. It's pretty. Got it. 
use that? I made a poof. Thank you for punishing me for my crimes. Thank you for putting me in jail prison. It's a jailhouse party! Oh god. <laughs> it stopped for a second and I was like, is it gonna get get fiery again? And it did. I hope they never fix the fact that the confetti has hit boxes. I hope they never, ever, ever fix that. Oh my god, the plaque! I feel like that plaque noise... I feel like I've heard that in another Kirby game, too. Million bazillion miles ahead of that thing. Oh, it's catching up. Never mind. I need to shut up. How is it equivalent to Happy Chaos's gun? Sometimes I'm like a little kid. It's like I'm a bit ahead of it, so instead I'm going to use the most bomb bombastic number ever. Wait, how does the gun work as an attack? Very, very nice of them to make the timer stop while the cannon animation happens. Let's go back and upgrade an ability. They said that was three stars? That wasn't that bad. Oh, there's one right here, but pure luck. Can you just block it? Or so how do you if you can get hit from anywhere, what is like Are there any strats to make sure? Yeah, how do you counter gun in a fighting game? Oh, you parry it? Okay. Forklifts are... God, you know, the internet loves to make jokes about forklift certified, but here he is, really doing it. You'll love to see it. So talented. Uh, hey. Where's the fucking path? Thank you. Way, but no, fuck you, bunny. Anything's a forklift if you believe in yourself. No, 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 no. Oh, I gotta get under you. I see and do that. Oh, this is cruel. Got it. We've done it. Please take me to the phew. We've done it. That one was spicy. I you know, know that's true. You are the forklift expert. Is real forklift certified? Is real video games only forklift certified hero? I think he is. He must be. Here's the thing. Maybe Shenmue 2 Ryo, after he's had a bad boy streak, would operate without certification. Shenmue 1? He got his paperwork in line. We've just made a beautiful pool to rest by? That's wonderful. There's a fishing minigame? 
Oh, holy crap. Oh, shabunga. We are about to have a lovely day. Yes! We deserve this. Cannot dig here. Cannot dig. Cannot dig. Here's some blueprints. I love his Waddle Dee. He's adorable. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Oh, yo, what is it? Do you know where I can get forklift certified? Hmm, forklift certified. I don't know. Try asking someone else. I see. Thanks very much. Crystal Needle sounds cool as hell. So we can either get Buzzsaw Cut... So we can either get... We would need one more. So we can either get Buzzsaw Cutter right now or Needle right now. I'm curious about the Evolved Needle. Cutter's, cutter's okay. It's never been my favorite. I'm curious about the needle. My life and soul depends on this particular Waddle Dee. What a good boy. Beautiful. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, the crystal's popping behind it, too. Now that's a Katamari. We'll also let you roll through strong winds. Cool. Also, one thing I'm noticing is this automatically pitches a, uh, pitches crystals forward. Very useful. Very, very useful. Needle being a Katamari feels almost like... Like it's so obvious in retrospect as opposed to the other Needle abilities which like Parkio. Giant sword treasure real quick. I mean, here's the thing. We're gonna want some some crystals anyway to get the other abilities. Oh, I did forget about fish. I'm stupid as hell. You know what? Let me get this crystal and then we'll go fish. There was more wind up on that than I thought there was gonna be. Oh well. Hi, Beanie Baby. Bean has come in his late in her usual spot. Goodbye, friends. Kirby, you take a long time to bring the big sword down. Oh, so much murder. Hey, handsome. Oh no, you've brought a brother. That noise is very strange. Wait, really? You guys do this? This is a fascinating idea. Oh. 
The roars of the big monsters have never sounded all that, like, monstery to me. Except for the swan who makes that bird screech. That sounds right. Can you guys, like, fucking not crowd? I bet Peggle 2 Man is making a million fucking dollars somewhere. I'm certain of this. Who was that? Who is the that man? I bet the internet will tell you. Monkeys are just aggressive in general. I still think all the time about that Tumblr post that was like, chimpanzees are scary, but if we give them the ability to talk, they can be even scarier. No, he's making a kajillion dollars. Duh. Jesus. Do I have to do all the thinking around here? <laughs> Excellent! Remy is the rat. Actually, no, that's that's a common mis that's a common misunderstanding. It's not Ratatouille, it's Ratatouille's monster. Keep on catching! If you'll catch several fish in a row, you'll eventually snag a big one! Press buttons quickly! And try for a high score. I've already fucked up. Cute. Catch the big fish! Oh, tiny. Wait, wait, what is it? What is it otherwise then? I feel like a sparkling rat is more interesting than Remy. Remy is a regular ass rat with a heart of gold. I want to see where the sparkling rat goes. That's big. Oh, it's become a coin. Fish love doing this. Do you see him start to doze off? I feel like he's got a song in his heart at all times. So Peggle Man's name is Josh Vecchi. He's the co-founder of PopCap Game. Oh, no wonder he's amped about Peggle too. Left actively working there in 2015, still on the board. That makes sense. Is this the big one? I don't think these are the big ones. These are big. I don't know if they're big, big. I want to see truly big. I want to see Kirby get squished. Yes, I do, yeah. He threw me off because he started to do the reeling animation I wasn't watching. Oh, you gotta be fast as shit! You gotta be so fast as shit, wow. There we go. 
That's a big one. Pluto VR. When in the world is Pluto VR? Although it does not surprise me that like all these guys are like, oh, we gotta do something VR. Oh, we gotta do something metaverse. Oh, wow, you gotta be quick. Ew. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Literally everything Metaverse has been done before, some of it fucking decades ago. They really do. Oh, did Pluto VR die? LOL. Whoa, fuck yeah, the mall's gone to shit. Hi, more pizza! I love this game, it's so fucking cute! Things are not going well for the mall. Well, it's kind of hilarious because, like... Like, Facebook is trying to pull a Kleenex with Metaverse. And, like, their own, like... Their version of, like, VR chat or Second Life, whatever the fuck you call it, is so lame. It's so lame. Yeah, Pivot to Video was a fucking scam. We got bamboozled hardcore. Um, this is Chris. So this is Crystal Needle. So this is super duper powered up um, needle, and it's cute and useful. Yeah. So Facebook is out here speed running Second Life, and the all the fucking NFT stuff is speed running every financial law we've ever had. It's cute. It's very useful. The more you can catamari it, the useful, the usefuler, usefuler, usefuler. That's a fucking word now. It is. Spooky boys. Don't do this. No spooking. The fact that it is such a wide smack area too is so good. The thing is, people love the idea of like doing a VR experience. But most people who want to do like a VR experience or something like that, they want a packaged, ready to go experience, which is what just video games are. Like just put, just buying a video game and putting on a VR headset is fine. Hold on, that's a fucking cone, this rules. Oh my god, this is my hole. It was made for me. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Yeah, VR needs to take you somewhere else. Like... The funniest fucking thing, and I've commented on this before, it's still so funny, but Office Space made a joke about, oh, Dwight got on Second Life, and his Second Life character is just himself again. And then... Oh, did I miss a... Did I miss a... Hold on, I might have missed a guy. And then, what is Mark Zuckerberg's Metaverse character? Just him again. I heard him. Where is he? I heard him.
what is H3 VR? I'm not sure what that one is. Where is he? Cause I hear him. You guys hear him, right? Where is he? Just keep going? Okay. It really because of the ear that I was getting it and I wondered if he was... Alright, I'll keep going. Oh, now it's much louder here. Yeah, no, it's here. Never mind. Okay, so we need to get a ball power up. Or something circular. Aha! I do too. We don't need that. We don't. Don't understand the physics of that one, but good job, Curb. Some of the best um, VR chat stuff, like, here's the thing. VR chat is fine when it's like you're hanging out. Like that, because the thing about VR chat is like, the appeal of it is right in the name. It's VR chat, you're hanging out. Like, that's fine. And then um, some of the new VR chat games, I've seen like there's that, that we did all the escape rooms, those ruled. It's fun when VR chat lets you like drop into a gaming experience with friends. But it's so funny because all these got tech pros have spent so much time talking about it. VR chat's the only one that's ever made it actually happen. Like they're out here going like, oh, by getting monkey JPEGs, that'll be the future. And then VR chat is like, oh, hey, we programmed a bunch of things. <laughs> vending machine up here because that's clearly what we need <laughs> oh no don't do that to me the hanging out in course mode was very cool ha and the teleportator <laughs> Kirby got damaged by a cardboard box. I have, so here's the thing. VR chat is fun. And VR chat with a VR headset is very fun. But for a lot of people, getting to be a, a new, a, like a different character is awesome. But if you're not as excited about it... It's not a life or death situation to not try it. It's cool though. Oops. I did not mean to get chomped by them. I love that they have that animation. Give me popcorn. Which again looks just like cauliflower, I think. I like the fact that the music gets quieter back here, too. How do I get in there? Alright, there was a sword man, so I bet sword power-ups are going to be important in here. <gasps> nope, we're going to need bonkers because there's a smackable target over there. Also, yeah, Bonkers does have a big roar. Yeah, I will... Form is completely correct. <laughs> the appeal of VR chat and such goes way the fuck up if you are, like, you know, trans or a furry or... <laughs> or both or some other similar category. Cauliflower with cheese is delicious.
We found it, the secret hamburger hot dog jam. Oh, I need to actually grab that. Wild hammer, fuck yeah. Hold on, though. I'm hoping that as we continue forward, the, the noise of the boy that I'm hearing is going to become more apparent. This game is adorable. Also... Oh, I see it up there. That clock's coming down. That clock is so coming down. Sir, I need to hit you. There we go. Sleepy man. We deserve a Lego Kirby. There are tons of huge Barra guys. That is absolutely a thing that is so covered. Makes sense. Time has been punished for its hubris. Finally, we've gotten revenge on time for its crime of continuing to gradually move forward, infuriating that it would do this to us. Big hole! The helmet's good. Would be good for power hats. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Mamma Mia. Why does the Ooh, Mamma Mia we're going down again? Ooh. Oh wait a minute, no, I can put this hold on, I can put this in there and then I can put the cone in here, I think. Don't do that. Don't do this. I don't understand what's happening here, but he loves to do it. Oh, look at this! Um, this is hilarious. I don't understand what just happened, but it's good. <gasps> Ushimimi! Ushimimi! What's up, homegirl? Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Krebby Forgot Where He Parked. Or whatever joke I made about this before. We're having a wonderful day. How are you, my friends? My beautiful, lovely friends. The Gloopa Mimi crossover. Yes, the people have been waiting on this. What were you playing? Oh, that's right, you're a short stack now. Powerful. No, 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 no. Yes. FF11? FF1, sorry. I was, there was 10 off. Not even close. Not even close. Have you played um, the new... Jack-Jack Attack or whatever the new, the new Edgelord Final Fantasy is? I'm sorry for terrifying you. It's what it feels like, though, because a bunch of people come rushing in with such ferocity. I'm gonna play Sesame Street. What shape is this? It's Twiangle. Yeah, isn't that his name, Jack? <laughs> Excellent. Pink Small Craw. Jack Garland, yeah, that's it. Oh no, we missed one. Oh, how would we have known to do You're a goddamn wizard. I don't know what the fuck you're doing to me, but I'm gonna cyberball you. <laughs> Excellent. Devil Huntress? Yeah, I appreciate that. I guess you hosted and rated. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Resident Kohai, thank you so much for the follow. Um,
Yeah, Shining is, is having his thunder stolen. Um, did you see how, like, crazy fucking detailed? Like, if it was like that bat had, like, 300,000 tries. It was crazy unoptimized. Like, that bat was, like, three times the detail of this model for, like, a fucking bat. It was insane. The thing is, though, they... I mean, maybe they won't fix it, but I hope they fix it. We deserve it fixed. Whoa, wig. Well, welcome. Please enjoy the confused... I need to get new emotes. They don't match my costume. How does the multiplayer work? Tell me tales of this multiplayer that lets you play multiply. Oh, we were so close! We were so close to rescuing all boys. It's Glorpy and Slurpy. These are what things do. They Glorp and they Slurp. I would love to get super leveled up Ranger. That would be awesome. Listen, some of us are born with big polygons and I accept this. I'm not sure what I should be doing here. This feels right. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, we just keep going around the circle. That makes sense. As the game continues to spawn new boys for us to battle. Wah! No. Night night. Um, L, I will try. I will do my best. You're watching Final Fantasy videos on the computer, you dork. Got. I got got. Have a nice night. Sarah Damon. Sarah Damon is a good name. YouTube is good for that. The purpose of YouTube is to go down rabbit holes of mysteries. There's one more over here, right? Uh, drill? Oh, it's Crystal Needle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us acquire crystals. Let us acquire the legendary clown crystal. Do you vote? I almost went up the level. Nope, I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. Don't don't do it. Don't do it, Kirby. Don't do it. Making those hops is hard. It got a little chaotic there, too. Holy shit, you really got a whole ass. We did it. We did it. Old Jack in the Box ads. These challenges are really, really, really good. They were a very smart addition. And the fact that they're necessary to get the upgrades, which are, like, so fucking, like, the upgrades are definitely one of the most fun part of the game. They're also so good at making you, like, play around with different varieties of tools, too. Oh, now we can get, oh, we can get power from Monkey Hammer. Does this mean Kirby's gonna dress like a funky monkey? I hope so. We can probably get a couple of these. Let's 
let's see what we want to get. I think it's time for Monkey. I'm ready for Monkey. He's doing it! Him and his sock on the back of his hat. Does he know the sock is back there? Like, does anyone tell him? Oh, fuck yeah, you love it! You love to see it. You deserve to see it. Look at the crown on the hammer, that's good. <laughs> the double bonk is fun. Is there a fourth? No. That's a swing! Oh, I like that when you do the mid-air swing, there's a pogo to it. That's fun. How much damage does this do? That hurts a lot. One hit KO for Sandbag. The Punished. How much does it cost to upgrade bomb? Is it like three? I'm sure it's three. Yep. This only takes two and I haven't seen it yet, so let's do it. Listen, sometimes Sackboy, he's had it too good. He has gone... Things have gone so well for Sackboy. Actually, when was the last fucking time we got a little big planet game? Oh my god, it's a pencil sharpener. Shut the fuck up, I love it. I like that it launches a projectile. Nothing wrong with being literally just a pencil. The, the discarded sharpenings is such a fun effect. Excellent. Thank you, Nintendo. We deserved this. We were good. We deserved this. We've earned it. Oh, with what you stick the pencil in his mouth and it that works. That's excellent. Ascend. I love how in that animation the boat comes up and then flops. It's good. Canyon time. You know what, considering that the game is giving us, um, oh, these crumble, huh? Considering that the game is giving us mobile boys, we picked the right time to upgrade this too. Wait, what mechanic do you want me to learn here? I'm supposed to learn something here. It's not just go over here, right? That seemed too straightforward. It seemed way too straightforward that I just need to go over to the left. A Kirby button maker? That's... That's adorable. Appreciate that it has never occurred to the mole that I might be under him. Oh! Oh, we've got the drill upgraded again! This drawing sucks. You didn't do a good job at all. What dungeon? What game are you playing? What would you do if you were going about your day in the world 
and you saw one of those anti-Kirby posters, but it was your face! You're right! There were instructions on how to draw Kirby, and they fucked it up. Deserts have always been cute. Hold on, does he have a taunt? Oh no, he doesn't have any taunts in this form. That's no fun. Um, I would expect it. I feel like it was overdue. I'm gonna try and there's a oh there's ghost Gordos in this one that's right. Let's see if we can avoid alerting him. Yeah, there is. It is absolutely doing some subsurface scattering stuff. You'll love to see it. So you can avoid waking this boy up. What the fuck in the duck? Oh. There's one right there. How could you do this to me, sir? That scared me. I actually jumped. I didn't know he was gonna be there. It's the it's the Dark Souls of Kirby games. One day though, we'll get the Kirby of Dark Souls games. Can you imagine that, though? It plays like Elden Ring, but it's fucking adorable. Imagine this. If you dare. Oh. I was like, how do I get to the switch over there? Because I saw it. You dare to imagine the adorable? Well, that makes you braver than the average Joe. Joes are famously not very brave. We already missed a Waddle Dee! Fuck! Oh no! A disappointment. The music is so funky fresh. Charming. I love the way he walks with the fucking light bulb. New music, dramatic themes, big boat in the background. Pop, 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 pop. Give me you. Excellent. We've acquired fire. Is that one bigger or is it just closer to me? I don't have object permanence. I am part of the gang that firmly believes that shit just fucking disappears. Is there a down here? Down here there is. Okay, good. I was like, oh, I'm going downward, and the camera was not following. So I just assumed that murder and misery awaited. <gasps> no! Don't dangle him so dangerously. How could you do this? Or what would that sound like? I'm not ready to process that concept. God, Splatoon 3 is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. What's up here? <gasps> That's what's up here. I think the sooner we get a hip a hip album starring Kirby is the time that the world can finally begin to heal. Do you want to keep going, buddy? We're busy. He's done it. Hello, sleeping man. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did you see what they did to me? Did you see? I, I hope you can upgrade sleep. They better be cool enough to let you upgrade sleep. Sarah McLaughlin comes singing in but the arms of an angel. He didn't deserve that. Is narcolepsy such a crime? I think it is. I think narcolepsy should be a felony. Oh, look at you sleeping over there. Never mind. I take back everything I've ever said about narcolepsy. Look how cute you are. Real one sleep. You awake, you a fake. Hit the hay. Every day. Tanya, you're perfectly welcome to take a nap right now. Probably not the first time this show has put you to sleep. Don't land on me. Thank you. Are we all still thinking about fucking Pac-Land, the new adventures? Wait, can I go down? No, you cannot go down. Cannot begin to describe how much you cannot go down. I thought, ooh, a secret pathway. No. Oh, I want to go over here. Yes! The boy! Kevin, I can't believe you didn't make it through that stream. Look at him wiggle. I see boxes over here. We're going in here. What? What is in here? Turkey. Both, but no, I was thinking FF7R, because we were not playing FF7R all that long, like... Were we playing for 45 minutes? My name is Kirby, and I'm gonna kiss your dad. Hey! Cactus triplets. Put him up! I'll fucking kill you. I like how some of them don't even bother with the descriptions, just like, it's... It's a windmill. The brutal, brutish Buffalhorn! Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing they up nuked the... Hello everyone. Earlier today, I uploaded a video where I implied that Kirby wants to kiss your dad. I know now that I've done deep damage to the community by implying that Kirby wants to kiss your dad. Kirby wants to do so much more to your dad for this. I am deeply sorry. Please uncancel me. They gave him a fucking gun! Twenty-five boys required. I like how they break the wall by just bonking and splonking it for a while. 
Ew, Jesus, what the hell is that? <laughs> I, if I ever have to record an apology video, I don't think that wearing a clown nose is going to help me get out of my problem. I absolutely think that if I did something fucked up enough to, to warrant an apology video, I should probably do it straight face and then shut the fuck up for a while. Still a big believer in the Diplo school of... Don't talk if you're in trouble. No. Which means if I ever do something cancelable, I'm just doomed right then and there. Oh, I just freeze him and just send him on his merry way, I see. So literally all you have to do is spawn the boys. You don't have to move that far at all. There we go. Up. Oh, nope, one more. And done. Bean, do you need food? I'll feed you. Bean, I'll jump up and feed you after this. Bean, don't lick my hand while I'm fighting Mr. Frosty. There's a cat licking my hand. In a moment, Bean, we will go get food, I promise. Don't do that! He's so mad. The thing is, is that um, if you upload an apology video and you complete your apology on frame zero, that's a frame perfect apology and you can skip the entire apology tour sequence. VTubers are constantly doing this. It's how the guy, it's how the ugly guy who slept with uh, Ross Donovan's wife got out of, got out of hot water. You're so stinky, you stinky cat. You wanna do you wanna beef? Do you wanna beef? I'll give you your meef and your beef. Alright, I'm gonna jump up for just one second and then we'll take on this boss. Cause considering how this is going, I'm probably just gonna keep powering through this game. still the funniest fucking thing ever. It really, really, really is. Alright, y'all. Behave yourselves. Bing bong!
Sandwich just mentioned, huh? You guys broke it! <laughs> you guys broke it! You fucked everything up! <laughs> Thank you. I really want to see so did it just like snap to the sandwich dimension and I'm just like sitting there like That's good. I wanna see if that's gonna be good. Wonderful. Wow, kid, there's I'm surprised because like oh, whoa! Hold on, hold on, sorry to interrupt my sentence. But did you see that when it kicked that light, those lighting physics were live? That I didn't expect. Hold on, yeah, look at this. If I kick this lamp, that light is live, that's so cool. Why did they bother? What a flex. I did not expect that to happen. I thought it was gonna be baked in lighting. Let's see, um, I really like Crystal. Let's take Crystal. Oh, yes. You don't think what? Say what on stream? What are you referring to? Oh no, Kirby, you're so canceled. Why is this guy collecting light bulbs? Actually, no, I fucking did that when I was when I was a child. Oh, I've been hung in effigy. That's worrying. Look at the soda can shoes. That's a fake one. I want that as a toy. The fucking duct tape ears are so good. Silly Dillo? The Silly Dillo? Oh my god, what a goofball. Oh wait, I gotta get hit. I gotta hit one more. Got it. Reward got it. Wasn't there a crazy armadillo in, um, Crash Bandicoot? No, that was ripper Roo. I'm thinking of ripper Roo. Sorry. He's very uncomfortable to gaze upon. that oh you've made a wife for yourself you've made a horrid spouse are things going okay sir why does she have a fucking coconut bra i might have to use this tomato i'm just gonna use it real quick I need to use the dodge against this. You have to use the dodge while there, I think. Or I need to suck this ass.
gonna get him though. The fact that he made himself a garbage bride is. Sir. That was a good death. Garbage harem. Wait, that wasn't the most upgraded ice? Cool, I'm very surprised. All right. Ushi, I thought you'd never ask. The answer is yes. With this sludge, Ivy wed. It's so funny that 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 area really showed off that they have a lot of real time lighting in this game that they're having a lot of fun with. I said this last time. I'm gonna say that this 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 uh, this game again too. I really, really, really enjoy that modern games are like, we can do realistic, but we're not going to. Um, we're going to do it sometimes. We're going to flex, and then some other things are going to be squashy and cartoony. Carnival Barker. Oh, what the fuck is Tilt and Roll Kirby? Hold on, we have to go look at this. I thought I'd end up in a pastoral fantasy world after I got hit by Truck Coon, but, in, but I ended up a giant land for a world instead. In a giant land for a world instead. I love these. Wait, where was... I, I, where was the... He's up there. Check out what the protein powder store is. We're going to try the tilt and roll. <gasps> oh fuck yeah, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Moving my controller out because I'm assuming rolling. I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. It's literally one coin to play? This is silly. I feel like making it one coin to play is a little... Like, why bother? Do I dare go for it? Do I dare go for it? Do I dare go for it? I dare go for it. L! Sweetie, lie down! Honey, angel! Do yourself a favor and go to bed! Wait, why am I doing this again? Do I have to do it a certain number of times, or do I want to- or can I go and back on the level up? I cannot do 72 hours. That's incredible. Alright, now that we've accomplished that one, are you gonna give me a meaner one? Give me the tough stuff. That's what we want, baby.
Do you see what they've done to us? Bart. Do you see what they've done to us? God damn it! Incredibly emotionally taxing. Okay, I think we've done it. Hey! I really want to do Kirby's Tilt and Tumble with the tilt controls so badly on stream. We were theorizing ways to do it, and it seems like the sanest way I say it in air quotes. I don't want to do that again. The sanest way to do tilt and tumble on a stream seems to be to buy the Game Boy Color game and a GameCube and a Game Boy player. Oh, fuck me. Now this is roll goal. This is what I was expecting. Shit me. No, 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 That zigzag right near the end there is the work of the devil. Fart! Shit! Okay. Hi, Bean. Not right now. Mommy's busy rolling her balls around. That was needlessly daring. Bean, honey, don't lick mommy right now. I'm really trying to do something. Extra hard! Extra hard has been added, everyone! A special figure is for unlocking the extra hard difficulty. It's a ball. Oh, it's you! You fucking narcissist, you gave me yourself. Oh my god, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So those those walls got deleted. Gordo now exists. So they deleted the walls and Gordo exists, I see.
You know, I figured some of those walls were gonna disappear because they look different. Gordo, I did not expect, and I really should have. Don't lick mommy. This is psychotic. Hold on, let me look at the third one. Oh my god, look at the one fucking traveling on the path. Oh my god, that's cruel. Holy... We're not... <sighs> this is obscene. One more try, one more try, one more try, one more try. And then we're gonna continue with the rest of this game, because I do want to try and beat it tonight, because it doesn't look like it looks like there is not all that much left. Don't touch it! Command the ball! Boss the ball around. Take charge of the situation. I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up. It's Feed me! Luma Lee, Luma Bop, Waddle Dee, Item Shop. I know, I know. Life Up doubles your health. Increases your attack power. Increases your speed. The fucking protein power. That's interesting. I'm gonna pass for now. If I'm having a really hard time, I'll come back for it. Fucking performance enhancing drugs. Berg! We're gonna eat the Berg and we're gonna take a health power up to go. It's so sad that he's eating alone because Elphalyn has been fucking kidnapped. Yes, I did. It was very good. Oh, he's so full. He's gonna fall asleep in the sunshine. He knocked his fucking plate asunder. And get a coin for it. Hi. Completely and totally bubbled. All right, our journey awaits. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have napped. Night, night, Misha. Have a good night. Kirby gets no sleep. Very ominous. We can do this. We can do this. Don't you believe in Kirby? I was about to say, don't you believe in me? But you're going to be like, no. We're so funny. We say no. Uh, oh, this looks like a fucking apocalypse really happened. Love the mix of the freeways and the giant pillars. Oh, there's post-game that's part of the story? Okay, yeah, then we may have to come back to this game. That being said, I do want to try and clear this world. Listen, every, every city is Crisis City these days. Didn't, oh, I don't have a power-up. Whoops. Hey, fuck off. You know, it's funny. It's easy to forget, but like... Just using Kirby's inhale by itself is actually very useful. Uh, 
Uh, guys? If anything, I just saved you guys' lives. You don't want to be on that. Oh, pod. I was like, is there a waddle doggle from this? No. Ooh, look at the beast camp flag. Can I cut it? Can I destroy it? No. Oh, I'm falling for the carrot trap! The only thing worse than the carrot trap is high energy prop comic carrot top. He scares me. Is carrot top still alive? You can lie and say no to make me feel better. Wait, no, he's dead? Hey! Here's a boy. I didn't the description for the ice power-up say that you can skate on lava? That's gonna be useful. Hopefully that actually happened. You know I did tell you to lie to me. Rabbits love to do this. Rabbits love to go to the lava and hop and bop around. Rabbits are always doing these things. Is there a secret back here? That's not a secret! That looks like a secret. Oh no, I needed you! Oh no, come back! He came back! Thank you for coming back so I can devour you. So kind of you. I like how they have to put a drill power up in here in case some fucking how you manage to lose it in this room. Goodbye, boys. Oh, shit! The buildings have been encompassed by lava. Things aren't going so good around here. What's interesting about this late in the game is we haven't gotten a lot of answers on who the beast pack are, what their goals are, what's up with the, the vortex. I missed the treasure chest up there. Fart. Oh, well. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I saw the treasure chest just as this was happening, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Juked, tricked, befuddled, L plus ratio. This staircase I saw, though. That flower bloomed and gave me burger. That's how you know this game is a fantasy. Is there an up here to up here? Hello, Lucy. Kirby's going good. We're learning lots of things about friendship. And how to get boiled alive. Oh, I needed to be here to grab the coins, I see. Secret door. Behind which lies pencil. God, that lava looks delicious. And not begin to, to underestimate how fucking yummy that lava looks. Honey, you need to go down and thank you. Magma omelet acquired. I want to eat the lava. Good night, Genie Problem. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate that. Oh, actually, yeah, it's nine o'clock here, so it's getting relatively late on the on the other coast. I got gotcha. you. Rescued ya.
We've got the boy. Oh, did you do this, Quentin? Yeah, no, it's all alone. It's just the little brave hero all by himself. Oh, so he's gonna get a pipe of water no matter what anyway. Cool! It is very hilarious that Kirby can't top off. He has to spit all the water out and refill. Uh-oh. can hit meteors with water. Oh, I see. Wait, can I reset this room? Can I go back up to that door and reset this room? Because I really want to get him. We're so close. This isn't even that long of a level. Nope, too high. Damn it. Oh well. We'll have to get him on the next run. And clearly we're gonna get him on the next run because there's a post game. What's up, boys? That being said, we can definitely push through to the end tonight. There it is, mentioned, a woofies. They were right, I think it was Aura Channel said it, yep. Baby Tortum. So it's Tortorner and Tortilding, those are good names. You guys have no idea how bad I wanna make this. You guys have no idea how fucking bad I wanna create that. Ooh, actually, you know, have you guys seen have you guys seen the lemon drop cakes? Or like the, the raindrop cakes? Sometimes they're lemon flavored, that's where they came from. But it's the raindrop cake where it's like totally clear. Imagine a raindrop cake with a star in it like that. I want to make it happen. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh my god, that would be so cute! Alright. Jeez, the music of Spooky! We're gonna keep rocketing through because now that I know there's enough to this game that we may get another stream out of this game, I'm gonna keep going through to the final boss and then all of that other stuff we can do post-game adventures with. I love this fucking evil remix of... of the original theme. It's done in a minor key, it's so good. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad we can get a third stream out of it because it's a good-ass game. Maybe I want, no, actually not, nah, I don't want Hammer. I'm good without Hammer. Hammer's fun, you know, obviously it's very powerful, but it's slow and that makes it a little hard to use. I hear a Waddle Dee, I don't see him. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's a tunnel. So there's definitely... 
how do I get to that door? Hold on. Because, yeah, there's a hallway, but no, there's a ladder in the hallway behind you. I saw just a little bit of it. There's a little bit of a ladder in the hallway behind you. How do we get there? Can't go in there. That's not go in a ball. Come on, bomb. Oh, up here. Found ya. You love to see him. This is Kirby at his most heroic. I mean, he's always a hero, but this is particularly heroic. I can't believe I got it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I got it. Kirby is filled with determination. Kirby is filled with annihilation. Mr. Frosty is filled with death. Boy, it was over for him real quick, wasn't it? Oh, and you get a Mr. Frosty power up here anyway. Because you've got to skate. Truly skate or die. Very apocalyptic. It wasn't in a city like this before. It started with just like the Fruiters, but now it's like, no, you are in City of Death. Okay, cool. I, 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 I made it not hot. How do I get in there? Oh, you have to be already skating. Just kidding. Oh, just use my... It's really that easy? Okay. Oh, they just break. <laughs> Break, they just smash. It's so simple. Kill your father. Trust no one, not even Squidward's house. This is risky. Is this really the way you do this? Do you just poof down under here? That feels scary. Okay, never mind. Glad you're here. I like how this power up is called Frosty Ice. It sounds delicious. Okay, we've done it. Forgot I don't have Lotto Swallow. Okay, hold on. This ground is so breakable. This is so breakable. How do I get up here to break this? That's how! I'm glad I only broke one of them. Hopefully I can make this... <gasps> Why did those just break? Why did those just break? Oh, there's a clock on him. Please, I need to proceed with speed. The wrong way.
This one's mean. Mamma Mia. We almost lost him forever. I like the addition of Long Gordo. Do you fucking mind, buddy pal? How do I ascend? What is the trick to ascension? Do I come down from a... Oh, I just dropped down? That seemed a lot more straightforward than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I guess you just have to risk life and limb. The presence of the ice cream power-up is charming and cute. You tell me that it's time for violence. Goodbye, gun. The only thing that can defeat the power of gun is the power of more gun. Have you ever met Morgan? She's very nice. Other swallow is now on. I don't know that that makes an enormous impact on gameplay. Yeah, she was in Darkstalkers. She she was out there just stalking the shit out of that dark. At least for a while. Then Capcom was like, okay, we're not making fighting games about you anymore. You've had enough fun. Nobody likes you enough for us to make fighting games with you in them. Even though lots of people like you. things to me. It looked like there might- yeah, there's other secrets afoot. Wait, this looks like an ending. What's over here? Oh, that's definitely the way forward. It's also scary as shit. I don't get it. You will in time. Ooh. Oh, now I get it. Hold on, before I go that way though, actually no, let me go in case that disappears, I want that food. I feel like there's some pathways back here that I didn't check out yet. No? Did I not? Okay. Yep, nope. He did it. The fact that it's not just lava, but apocalypse lava is like, damn, Kirby, what the fuck happened, my guy? I say that as if Kirby is responsible for this. The side trip is worth it.
Now, before we go up there, though... Sorry, I had a very one-track mind. I just grabbed it and left. Is there something back here? Because if I was them, I would... Yeah, there's something back here! You thought you were so smart. Really enjoying the boat just in the lava. Wooden boats can do this if they want to. Oh shit! Buzz Lightyear is here! We've gotten the Space Ranger ability! Okay, you know what? I am gonna go back and get that. That sounds really cool. Assuming I have enough nuggets to afford it. Use Crash to defeat- Oh, that sucks! You have to use Crash to kill him, not just- not just be in the arena with him. Herbie Burger! Vending machine! That's... I'm sorry, that's kind of lame. Burger! Burger! The burning, churning power plant. It's yearning for burning. That makes sense. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna keep going forward. We're so close. Look, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's, there's like one or two levels, and then a boss, and then... A final boss arena. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it this very evening. Oh fuck, this looks like some Final Fantasy VII Remake shit. Form. Thank you so much for sticking around for it. I hope you formed a good opinion of this game. Do you get it? Because it's your name. You are named this. Peace out, Anarch Dovey. Thank you for hanging out. Ah, it's the factory level with the crushers! You love to see it. You expect it. It's here. Maybe I'll on fire if you guys are here. I'll keep going for now. Oh, you tried to be a oh. no. The one of the din dents in the wall is a wrong. It's a lie. It's a fib. Do you see them try to trick you? Okay, you need to collect coffee in this level, apparently. You also need to hurry. This man has made a foolish mistake. I'm so sorry, fool. He must have died off screen because I suddenly got coins. Oh, now we're gaming. We've arrived at one of these levels. Wait a minute. Are there cups of coffee with sleeping aloofies every time? That's cute. That's charming. That's... That was very foolish. I get into that man's prison. I wonder if I need to ride one of these pistons up somewhere. Oh, maybe that just opens it. Never mind, that just opens it. That 
gotcha. Man, everybody's having a hard time. Well, I'm gonna do my darndest. You know, if there's another stream in this, maybe I should save the final boss in post game for another stream. How long have we been going? Five, mm, five hours. You know what? Maybe we should do it. Maybe I should do the um final boss in post game. There's one stream. I wonder if I could just dodge roll across this if I can skip the conveyor. Yep. That's how you do it. You just dodge roll across. Because, yeah, that being said, considering it's 10 o'clock, I may want to take a break and um, do some... What the fuck? You're freaking out, my guy. I need fire. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, there's a lot I can do on the next stream, so I may, you know what, I may do final boss and post game. There's more to this game than I thought there was gonna be, which is- <gasps> Oh, fuck, 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 The final coffee! Yeah, I think we're gonna do final boss. Why do I have this? Ooh. He has been injured. The presence of the soda can machine in this place is very funny. Scary place. Bah! Hold on. The soda machine does not get taunts. I did call it Sesame Street shape earlier. You gotta be faster about it too, apparently. That's good. Oh, we're done with the factory already. Cool. Cute. What? Did I miss a boy? I missed a boy. Oh well. L's in the chat. Hi. Gathering of the Beast Council, cool. Violence awaits. Things are not going so well in this world. Not at all. Hello, Aloofy. Goodbye, Aloofy. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'll take Mennonite Sword then. Oh, is this a fucking... Is this a boss gauntlet? Oh my 
I guess. Yes, it is. Crazy damage. Goodbye, monkey. Enough monkey of you. Oh, he was full of cars, all monkeys are. Oh, cool. Oh, he's a timer one, of course. See, he's left his freeway bananas, as all monkeys do. Oh god, I couldn't see what the fuck I was doing. Gotcha. Monkeys are constantly falling over comically. Monkeys are good because God was like, what if there was a funny guy who could tear your face off? The gifts of food are suspicious. Ooh, um... Crystal's been fun every time. Let's see a crystal. Oh, fuck you! You again! Oh, he's moved straight to the wife part of his life. You guys definitely have less HP to make this a little more manageable. Goodbye, sir. What a guy. What a complete fellow of dude. Pro silly dillo strats. Silly Dillo is something we would come up with if we didn't have Silly Goose. I should have jumped. I'm gonna go in the top one. Did not go in the top one. Did not jump in time again. Were there ridges in the lower path if you don't jump? We have to go back for the boy! Really? Okay. Instinct. Did it by instinct. Did it by instinct. Did it by instinct. One more try. Thank you. Correct. You've made a decision today. Okay, we're not hitting any buttons. We're just letting God take us.
gotcha. Hey! Oh, thank you for hydrate. A delicious beverage of drink. Ascend, my son. No sleeping. Friendos are good to save. Always save your friendos. Um, let's take... If it's Kitty Cat, it might be. Let's take Gunner again, because we did really good with Gunnerversary. Yep, it's Kitty. Who is just like, yeah, yeah, you know it's coming. Okay, I guess we had a different power-up now. I love her s fancy trailers too. Uh oh. There we go. By all means, please do lay down. Please take care of yourself. Good night, kitty. Oh boy, a roller coaster. Well, this will be fun. The mask on top. The fucking mask on top is so silly. Crappy, life's getting a little dangerous out here, buddy. Yes, Brendo. Yes, I actually do. I think that Meta Knight's pride is deeply wounded right now. My name is Kirby and I'm in the fucking lava, yay. Oh, I missed some boys. What in the world awaits us? Because I assume we're about to do... Oh, no, there's two more things. Because I assume we're going to do a boss fight up there. Or is that like the end end? Because here's the thing. I don't know that... I don't know what to expect, actually. Because... That's the Beast Pack's final stand. And then there's this, but... Perhaps you need a crazy number of boys. Perhaps you need a perhaps you need a crazy number of boys. Let's see what happens. This guy's not even looking. He's looking. It would not surprise me if what's going to happen here is there's a boss fight, but we can't get up 
to the very tippy top unless we've rescued enough bullets. Because here's what's funny about this is this is labeled the Beast Pack's final stand and it sure feels final bossy with this, this uh, entrance here. But the game has other mysteries. Hey there, frame rate friends. You guys have found quite the area to call your final your final home. Once upon a time, this was so cute! I hope the Tsuchinoka comes back so I can be the snake eater. comes low, I see. Don't hold my boy hostage. We'll save you. Gotcha. God, the mask on top. Much better than it should be. I love to smell pixels. I smell them constantly. Rabbit death! Rabbits are always exploding. Frog boy! Frog boy surrounded by a cult of bunnies. All right, how do we? Cause a bit of a traffic jam there. Right? How do we get up there? The noises of the music are so good here. Wonder if we're gonna get water and we can come back with it. Ow! Fuck you! The boy has perished! How could you do this to him? I'm missing these jumps. There's the water. Okay, so we've got to go all the way back to get him, which we'll do. I love when they're like reminding you like, hey, uh, you got to go back for the boy. Jeez, spawning in lots of horrors and triumph and beasties for me to deal with. Enough of you. Oh, hold on. Oh, cool. Never mind. It's a refill. Okay, that's not so. I was like, is there a side round? No, it's just a. Just an opportunity to top off. Yeah. 
He does slowly deflate, yes. Gotcha. Wait, do I really want to go back out? Because there's coins leading back out. Do I want to leave? That doesn't seem to make sense, but maybe I do want to leave. All right, we'll try it. Because there is nowhere else to go. Yep, new things are happening. Oh! Everyone is dead in there. That's what's happening. I was like, that looks folly. It is folly. God, I love them running at half frame rate still. They're so funny when they do that. Are Gordos, like, part of the beast pack? Or are they just, like, here existing? It's kind of hard to tell. Ah! What am I standing on? Could not see what I was standing on. Thank you, Tyler. <gasps> Somebody saying it's like Metal Gear Solid. There were snakes, so now it really is snake eater. There we go. What are these will be for? Spunk. Stomp. Absolutely not. Oh shit! was not the way I intended to do that. I can get that poster. I was like, can I just get this poster by swooshing off the ledge? And the answer is yes. This is mysterious and worrying. Oh, it's those gator enemies. I just haven't seen any in a while. you guys. It's been a minute. I like how chunky their heads are. Alright, so we're gonna break the floor. That's good. Nice try, Chompalonkopus. It's his legal name. Hello, seal. Wind doesn't do all that much damage. I mean, the wind power-up does. The, when you have the blow from alpha mode, that does a lot more. I saw that! Nice try. Jesus, they're fucking booking it! 
I guess I get a book it too. Defeated, destroyed, deathified. Hold on, there's Crash up there. Am I giving you an opportunity to grab Crash real quick? Because I'm going to try and grab it if I can. Did you see him? Did you see him lurking? Oh no! God damn it! That sucks. I wanted him. I agree, Kev. God, if I'd had Crash, that would have been so handy. Oh well. Hey! Oh, I was like, why is the camera not following? Because we're going to transition to a new scene. This feels like Star Fox, even more than this kind of segment usually does. What? What I hit? I don't know what I hit. Apparently I hit it, though. Oh, now you just gotta! It's not like, hey, spin all these and you'll get a bonus. It's, hey, get all these and you'll die. Okay, good. I was like, oh, I went the wrong way because of the inverted controls. Fuck, 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 fuck. The boy. Gotcha. I love his wiggle in his airplane form. Very silly. Oh, shit. That's not good. Lava turtle boy? Barfing up chunk of building? Fucked up. Cohen? Oh, that's gonna go down. Oh, those are the uppy downy kind I see. spit this out for a second because I'm so close to getting this last. Gotcha. We've done it! We've gotten goodies. Whatever bonus awaits Krebby for his dutiful breaking of posters. We may be in trouble with how fast this is sinking. Oh yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, never mind. Apparently that counts. and times of Turtle are about to come to a sudden end. Really? That's scary. That's terrifying. That's too much. I bet it was Crash. Oh. It was Don't Fall in the Lava while using Cone Mouth. Do you remember the very start of this game when we listened to a beautiful jam on the radio? Went for a drive? No such luck. These guys were fun. They're cool enemies.
That was a pretty good haul. Alright, this doesn't look like a final boss. I mean, it looks like there's clearly a boss here, but... I don't think we're going up there. Maybe we are. We'll find out. Regardless... Something awaits. No time like the present, baby. Now I'm worried. The king, Elvis. Tomato. Let's see. I'm going to take Ranger because usually I do pretty good with Ranger. Ooh, one of these. Is that the king down there? Oh, is it really? Is it what, round two of you? Night, night, Silverwind. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is silly. Doing one of these. Oh, listen to that rock. Oh, he's mad. I'm seeing lava. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa, holy shit, you've lost your fucking mo you've lost the fucking plot. Hold on. Give me that. This is fun. What is wrong with you? Why do I get the feeling that you get involved in something bigger than yourself? We've come so far, I really, really, really want to take him down. Jeez, I forgot you can do that too. Done. Done. All right, you're gonna be less of a fucking freak show for a hot minute here, considering your mask just got discombobulated. This 
fucking mullet. Oh, they're being nice to him. Oh, there we go. I was like, of course, he's not being bad, bad. What about the one who fell? Save him! He's gonna chuck him, he's gonna chuck him. Yep. However, 30 years after our research began, a warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form, separated from the main specimen, escaped in the aftermath. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal Capsule here on the top level of Lab Discoverer. What the fuck? Here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, Specimen IDF-86. What the fuck? What the fuck? I have no idea what the hell is going to be on the other side of the door. Ew. Oh. The other one. And did the people of this world a miraculous power? They left, that's why. So this place is long gone because they bolted. Mm -hmm. 
Jutsu, what was with the capturing of the Waddle Dees and the opening of the portal? No, you don't! God oh, damn it. I need that. Thank you. I used my soda because I didn't know I was in for a boss up here. Uh, I'm busy, honey. Thank you. Oh, there was one over here. Enough. The king just watching like, all right. Camera angle change. I love this drag he does, that's kind of fun. Whoops! That was it, I was yelling at the phone alarm, but I didn't know if you guys heard that one. Holy crap. This guy's got a lot of HP. Kind of tempted to switch it out and just do the traditional spit. How much difference damage do those do? You just have a lot of HP. You just have a lot of HP, okay. Yes! Okay, this seems to be working better, actually. Hey! He's big mad. Oh, it's okay. I can pull it from the, um... We can pull it from the VOD later. I think I, I think I set a marker. Jeez Louise, buddy. Are you okay? Are you okay, champ? Why are you so full of purple rage? It's kind of hilarious. Oh, we're close though. We'll get him.
come on, we're so close, we're so close, we're so close. Done. That was not the final boss fight, though. Because we have clearly just uncovered a huge fucking mystery. Oh, the big creature is controlling it. Oh, this is fucked up. That's a problem. This is turning into the end of Akira real fucking quick. Oh, thank God, they gave me a fucking potion. This is a lot. There's more at the end here than I thought there was going to be. Well, we're about to run up the hallway. Ew. Well, this is the part of the end of a Kirby game where everything turns into an abomination. Said, even after we kill this thing, that doesn't explain how the fuck we're gonna get home. Nice two tons. Use for this long ass hallway, too. The slurping noises are a lot to take in. Sir Kibble, you didn't even like question this thing? Didn't even want to, like, discuss this thing, Sir Kibble? So far this doesn't seem tough, it just seems uneasy. Not right now, thank you. It's my alarm to take my meds. It's like, I need more than medication after this boss fight. Ranger, honey, I'm busy. There we go.
Kirby, you shouldn't let that happen. There's more? No way is there more. Oh my god, there's more! I didn't think we were die. Wow. Okay, we get every power-up to pick from. Okay. No, I'm gonna stick with Ranger. Ranger's working really good. I also like with Ranger, I can get back. I like not being near the thing. Nice of it to hang around for the fight. Oh. There we go, now that's a final boss. Nice spear too, fucking Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's way out of range. Oop, there we go. Oop! You have a swing. You may, like the previous fight, you may be easier to take out with. with just spitting stuff at you. We'll try it. Didn't intend to do that, but oh well. Oh, you've come down here now! You know what? Let's try it with just the copy power. Ooh, that's a trick. That's fun. Doubles bubble me. Listen, if we don't get this thing, I may come back and do it um, on the next stream because holy moly, I don't know that I'd be. Hmm, we're so close though. We'll see how we do. That's not good. 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 I did not realize that this was that doing that last bit was going to kick me into all this. Thank you for not spoiling it. I'm so glad you didn't spoil it, but this may... Oh. That's not good. That 
charming ass death. Very, very, very rare spike of lag from the end of the game there. You know what? Hi, Zaytree. Um... <laughs> yeah, you know what? We're gonna make another stream out of this game. We're gonna do the side quest stuff, we're gonna do all the bonuses, and we're gonna kill this guy on the next stream. This guy's going to be the grand finale of the next stream. Because at hour 6 plus, I don't have it in me to take this man down right now. This will be a return. So for those of you who are hoping for a satisfying conclusion of those adventures, tune in next time, baby! Let's find somebody to raid into, though. Because holy gu- Yeah, no, it's, it's been a, quite a fucking while. Oh, I know how we're going to. We're going over to Melody. Anyway, y'all, as I queue this raid up, I will be back on Wednesday for making some Easter snacks, and I'll be over on this channel that I just dropped a link to for um, doing FF7R on Thursday, and I will keep you guys posted for fun stuff beyond that, but for now... Peace out, y'all. Let's go crash Melody's party. And bye, everybody. Bye. This game's going down. Next time, though.